Tonight on Game Night, Dave, Aaron, Lincoln, and Nikki take off for a brave new world in Terraforming Mars, a game for one to five players designed by Jacob Frickselius and published by Stronghold Games and Fricks Games. Join us as we expand humanity's footprint onto a new world. Hey, Aaron. Yes, Earth citizen Lincoln. What are you I'm a Mars citizen. I'm going to be terraforming Mars. Not yet. You just got there. All okay. right. Will you teach us it, though? Okay, I'll teach you how to terraform Mars. All right. All right. Yeah, Earth is all used up and junky now. Oh. So this is Mars. It's the future. we got to go there and make it habitable. Not that far in the future. Uh, not really, no. <laughs> the near future. Uh, so this, the game board is a map of Mars. Uh, the place names are perfectly accurate as to what... Uh, as astronomers and NASA have named them. And um, we have here hexes that we will place oceans and cities and other geographical things in. We have these three global parameters, which are the important factors for life in Mars. This is the oxygen, which is currently at 0%, and when it gets to 14%, Mars will be at least somewhat habitable. These are the ocean tiles. When nine of them are placed, uh, 9% surface water on Mars is enough to have a water cycle, uh -huh. have precipitation and everything and life uh, sustaining. And then the temperature is very, very cold right now at negative 30 degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. and we're going to raise it all the way up to plus 8. And once all those things are done, those three global parameters are now usable as, as to live on Mars, then, then that, that will actually trigger the end of the game. Um, we have this tracker on the edge of the board is your TR rating, your Terraform rating. And mm. we all start at 20. That is both your base victory points, so congratulations, you already have 20 <laughs> points. Um, and it's your base income for mega credits, or just dollars, as we'll probably call them for most of the game. Um, your mega credit income is whatever your TR is here on this track, and of course these are gonna move up and go around as the game goes on plus your production on your mega credits board. So let's look at our player boards for a minute here. And they have <laughs> six different resources and areas to both show what we produce in each resource and how much we're holding of it. So this first area here is mega credits. Right now we all produce one mega credit per turn. Hmm. And because we're using beginner corporations, I'll come back to that in a second, we all have 42 mega credits in the holding area. In every currency on your player board, this means 10, these mean five, and these mean one. One of each, you mean? Yep, so okay. I have 30, 30 yeah. 35, 40, Two. 41, 42 mega credits. So that's how I'll show it. So if something caused me to gain five mega credits, I can just grab a silver cube and put it right there. It's a very, it's a very elegant and simple solution for resources. This resource is steel. It's used to build buildings. That's what this little brown building icon here means. Um, and we all, again, produce one of it per turn, per round, really, per generation. Um, and we don't have any yet. This is titanium. It's used to build, like, spacecraft and spacefaring things. We, again, all produce one per generation and don't have any yet. You'll notice that both of those boxes have a little square equals a certain number of mega credits legend at the bottom. When you pay for a card that has this building tag, you can use steel to essentially discount the cost of it, the requirements. And when you pay for a card that has this titanium spacefaring tag, that's the circle, you can use titanium to discount the cost of it. That's why it's saying that essentially one titanium equals three mega credits. When building a card with that symbol. Yes, and we haven't gotten to the cards yet, really, but let's just say, here's a card that costs a lot of credits. It costs 36 money. But it has this titanium spacefaring symbol on it. So I could, for instance, spend my 10 titanium as 30 credits for that, and now I only have to pay six, six actual space cash. Space bucks. Right. You can pay in any mix and match. I could pay the full cost of that in cash if I like. I could pay exactly half in titanium and half in cash. Yeah, yes. if, if the math didn't work out, would you get change from this or not? You would not. Okay. You're using it and then you would, you're done. Because it's a lump sum. Okay, 
Cool. <clears throat> Worth up to. The bottom here. Okay. <clears throat> then we next next we have plants. Again, we all produce one per generation. We don't have any yet. Plants are used to create greenery tiles. Um, greenery tiles will go on the surface of Mars, and uh, there's a rule for how you place them, but basically they're gonna earn you VP, and almost any time you place a tile on Mars, you mark it with a player cube to show that it's yours. But uh, this is an action that I'll explain in a little bit, but greenery cubes here can be converted directly into... Tiles. Tiles, yes. This is energy. It again, you produce it every turn, it put, goes down here in the box, and the last box is heat. At the end of every generation, which is like a round, once we've essentially all passed on doing further actions, energy will automatically convert into heat. You can't store it, it just becomes heat. Hmm. And that's a good thing in most situations. But you know, so if I've got, uh, I don't know, 10 energy and 15 heat here, and I can't do any more actions, I'm gonna have 25 heat. It just automatically shifts over and becomes heat. I can then produce more energy, of course, but it's just an automatic process that happens there. That's what this big arrow is showing you. And that's all the things on our player boards. I should point out that we are using acrylic upgrades that we ordered from boardgameboost.com <laughs> to hold the cubes on our player mats. Um, we might talk about this a little later, but it's real easy for these things to slide around and having a something to lock the cubes in place is pretty handy. Uh, but again, these do not come with the game. So back to the game board. We have uh, this list of actions here is standard projects. I'm gonna come back to that as soon as I explain the actions you can do on your turn. These milestones are ways to earn VP. These awards are ways to earn VP, and those are also things that you do on your turn. Uh, I'm gonna explain a couple more things about the board here, and then I'll explain the actions you can take and how the cards work, and that's about it. The blue spaces here, they're shaded lightly blue, can only hold oceans. Whenever you place a, a tile, you get the little bonus symbol if there mm. is one. This means you just get a plant for placing an ocean there. It just goes in your supply. Uh, some, some oceans are more teeming with life, and you'll get two for placing on that one. Or if you placed a city or a greenery or whatever it was over here, you would also get two plant resources. These spaces give you card draws from the deck when you build on them, or build or place any hex on them. These ones give you titanium, because they're mountains for mining. These ones give you steel for the same reason. And then this one gives you a plant and a titanium. So those are little bonuses. They sort of generally make those places more attractive to build on. While I'm talking about oceans, Every time you place any tile, whether you own it or not, whether, you, whether you're placing a cube on it or not, next to an ocean, you get two mega credits per ocean that it touches. Oh. So someone built this first ocean and got nothing for it. Someone built this second ocean and got two mega credits because it touches an ocean. And now I'm coming along and building my city and I get four mega credits. Mm. Water is good, water supports life. Okay. There's lots of good reasons to be next to the water. It's also nice scenery. Hmm. You get two mega credits for placing anything or uh, next to each ocean it touches. Um, if I got lucky enough to, this wouldn't, just the way the board is built, that maxes out at $6. I could get $6 for putting something there. If this is built after you build your city, do you get that $2? No, it's immediately, it's an when built. But the person who placed the ocean gets two because it's sure. touching one ocean. Makes sense. There's two other main types of tiles, and I've mentioned them all already, the cities and greenery. There are several unique tiles that will come out only if their cards come out and get built, mm. but these are the main three terrain types, uh, cities, oceans, and greenery. A city tile cannot be placed next to another city tile. So if Dave builds this city, these are illegal spaces and he has to go a little further out to build the city. Uh, you cannot... What if you built that city, city on rock and roll? Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> the, only, the only time you can break that rule is this specific mm. site that's set aside for the capital, Noctis City. And I believe there is a card that will place that or, or show you how to build it. If people have already built cities in these touching areas, Noctis City can still be placed there. Noctis City always goes there and it doesn't have to follow the normal rule. Okay. But 
now further cities still have to follow the rule. You so cannot place a city now here, next here, to or here. Okay. Next to Once that comes out. Noctis being placed itself is the only thing that can break that city adjacency rule. Okay. Every city tile you build in the game is going to be worth one victory point, as well as one victory point for every greenery that it touches. So if I built that city, it's worth three victory points. Even if yeah. Nikki yeah. built some of the greenery, it doesn't matter whose the greenery is, the scenery improves my city. That city's worth three victory points, this city's worth two. One for itself and one for one greenery that it touches, assuming that's what it looked like at the end of the game. For the red player. For, the, for me, yes. Yeah. Um, I get nothing. And like it. And like it. And then there's two more things you need to know about greenery tiles. They are worth one VP all on their own, but nothing, doesn't matter what they border, doesn't matter how many of them are, it's just one VP for putting it down there. So blue does have one VP mm -hmm. in this map situation. When you say VP, you mean at the end of the game, correct? Yes. All VP is calculated, calculated at the end of the game. I'm okay. just telling you what they are worth. Um, the, the last thing that greenery tiles do, which is in the middle of the game and not the end game, is they raise the oxygen level. If you know anything about how plants and animals work, plants breathe carbon dioxide and spit out oxygen as, a, as their waste product. And that's good for us, because they raise the oxygen level on Mars. There's a little tiny symbol here, which is this O2 molecule symbol for the oxygen track. Hmm. Every time a greenery is placed, doesn't matter who placed it, doesn't matter who owns it, you raise the oxygen level one percent, one tick. Okay. Um, and I should, I forgot to mention this at the beginning going over the board, but every time you raise any of these three global parameters, oxygen, like by placing greenery or any other effect, placing an ocean, or raising the temperature, which we haven't seen anything that does that, any time you affect one of those ever, your TR, your terraform rating goes up by one because you've made Mars just that little bit more habitable, right? Mm. If you do something in your turn that, does, that places an ocean and raises oxygen by two, you go up three ticks on the TR track. Uh, don't forget that that increases both your victory points and your money production every generation. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's basically how the board works. Um, how do generations and turns work? Mar Terraforming Mars is gonna take a long time. <clears throat> We're all going to be long dead by the time we're done. <laughs> uh, these are literally generations of our colonists on Mars, and a player, a round of actions, is called a generation in this game. This is essentially just a turn tracker. It's more important in a solo game. There are actual goals you have to get to by each dirt generation. But for us, it's just essentially to make sure we rotate the start player at the, at the beginning of each one. Uh, when a generation starts, except for the first one we're about to do, we <laughs> rotate the start player to the left. And then, again, except for the start of the game, we all draw four cards. You may then keep none, one, two, or three, or four of those cards, but you pay three mega credits for every one that you keep. So this is when you look at those cards and you decide whether they work into your long-term strategy or whether they might change your long-term strategy, uh, whether you, you know, want them in the game or not, because uh, you're going to be paying cash for them. Some turns you'll take them all, and some turns you'll take zero. Then next, starting with the start player, of course, we go to the main meat of the generation, and we all take actions. Lincoln's going to start because he is the last player who won Terraforming Mars. That's the start <laughs> player designator. Nice. Um, it, when it's Lincoln's turn, he may take one or two actions. If you ever take zero actions, you have passed and you're done for the generation. So you can't come back you in. You can't come back in. When we all pass, yeah. the generation is over. Sometimes you'll pass just because you're out of money and you can't do a thing. Uh, but sometimes you're done with your strategy for the turn. So, one or two actions. Lincoln, what can you do? You can play a card. This is the most complicated action and all the rest are going to be much simpler than this. <laughs> um, but, but looking at your hand of cards, of course we don't have them yet, is like going to inform most of your strategy and that's going to tell you what kind of game you want to play here. So let's look at a few sample cards and see how you play them and what they'll do. Uh, when you play a card, the very first thing you have to look at is the prerequisites for the card. 
a lot of cards cannot be played until the oxygen reaches a certain level. Oxygen. The temperature reaches a certain level, the oxygen reaches a certain level, or a certain number of oceans can be have been placed. For instance, here, actually this one has maximum 7% oxygen, so you need to play this one before. in the early game before it reaches 7%. Once it's at 8%, this card is unplayable. Done. Um, there are a lot of cards. This one here says uh, negative 24 degrees centigrade. So in the first few rounds, it's just not playable until you reach that. So that's the first thing you check. Obviously, the second thing you check, and if you'd probably uh, have been paying attention to this, is whether you've got the money to pay for the card. <laughs> As Space I box. mentioned, uh, titanium can discount things with this black and yellow sun tag, and steel can discount thing buildings with this building tag. That's what they're for. The next thing you check is the, or the next thing you perform, you pay this money cost however you have done it. Maybe you use steel and titanium for some of those things. You make sure the card's playable as is. Um, occasionally a card will even have tags as a prerequisite. It'll say, you must already have three science tags in play to play this card, something like that. They're all reasonably clear on the cards. There's a lot of information on these cards, but they're pretty well laid out. Everything is there for you. Um, then you check the effects of the card when you play it, and that's down here. One thing I didn't point out, but it's gonna become very clear as we play this game, is this: anything in a brown box is production. Oh. Uh, for instance, here's a card that will give you titanium and take away plants from somebody, but those are just the resources. This card here with the brown box in the background removes energy production and increases mega credit production. Brown box is production, no brown box is just the resource cubes themselves. So that can actually be part of the prerequisite to play the card. This card here, if you have no energy production, you cannot play this because you must have energy production to lower as part of the effect of the card. Oh, that's how that drops back, on, at least in that case. Right. You could drop from one to zero, but then you can't play another one that has lower your energy production. But you can it. drop to negative here on the cash on the production. Cash on the production. cash, but that's because yeah. you have 20 from this. Right. So yes, you'll never drop to less than 15 cash production a turn. Unless you're playing really bad. <laughs> I think it's possible. <laughs> the it only goes to negative five. Well, now I'm going to uh, try. <laughs> Other than that, the cards are very well explained by themselves. They almost always say in complete English at the bottom in small text what they do. This lichen card says, requires negative 24 centigrade or warmer, which is its prerequisite at the top. Increase your plant production one step, which is the brown square around plant production. So it's pretty hard to be confused by the cards once you've read them all. Some cards have victory points at the bottom here. Again, those are only end game, and of course that it's not if the card is in your hand, it's if you've played it, and it's, it's in your display, essentially. This arrow symbol here <clears throat> means it's an event. Often that will affect everyone at the table or another player in some fashion. Uh, whenever you play an event, you place it face down near your player board because some of them have victory points or other things at the end of the game. Other cards, for instance, the Lycan one we just looked at, it has no ongoing effect once I've raised my plant production and paid for it. But you keep it here because the tags are important. Mm. Yeah, uh, okay. As I mentioned, it can be a prerequisite for other cards. There might be other things that say, it's essentially just part of my ongoing colony construction. There's Lycan and I have a plant tag, so that might actually allow me to do something else later in the future. Or, you know, Earn, earn a mega credit per plant tag you have, something right. like that. The last type of card and almost most complex type of cards are the blue bannered cards. These are all the ones that give you an additional action to perform or uh, affect the cost you pay for something or give you some sort of ongoing ability. Um, this one here is birds. There are several that let you raise livestock or some sort of mm. animal. This red arrow on birds means, as an action, you can place an animal on this card. Well, that's, but I've already paid it, I've already played it, I've already paid the cost. Now I have an additional action to place an animal on this card. When, when a card has an action like that, you can perform it once per generation. Placing a cube on that is once per generation. Um, but in this case, it's a victory point for every animal I get on there at the end of the game. Hmm. Okay. So 
that is obviously much better in the middle of the game than in the last turn. I can't see completely from here, but it looks like doing that costs you two plant production. That is, that's what this is. I haven't gotten to that yet, but uh, yes, not the action itself, but playing the card. Okay. I didn't discuss, and that was one thing I was going to go back to say. Whenever there's something in a red box, that is a penalty. That is something that a um, cost. It's a cost, yes. And generally, when it's in a red box, it is optional, and it can affect you or another player. Hmm. Oh, so this is a cost as well. This is a, yes. But it says okay. in the details, raise temperature one step and gain two titanium, remove up to three <clears throat> plants from any player. So the oh. red is almost always a target another player effect. In fact, this is the birds. The birds eat somebody else's plants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what that is? Yeah, it says. <laughs> Decrease plant production. So that is, decrease that's a penalty, any like, plant production a, by two steps. It is a cost, but it's, it's somebody else's. It is somebody Potentially, else's, it's somebody yes. else's. So the red, the red border is a negative, but it can be targeted to somebody else. Hmm. It does say any. It's not. Sounds like you might have introduced the birds a little too early if you're worrying <laughs> um, about them. I think the rules might plants. even say that all the all the animal ones. <clears throat> yeah, you know, in fairness, it requires thirteen percent oxygen. Okay. Oh well, wow. there you go. Yeah, so, so it's, it's going to be a late card. That's a very late end game card. Who knows how many animals you'll even get on it? Well, it could be that this point pushes up and these aren't there. Yet. It's true. It's true. Um, I'm gonna point out point out another just another couple quick tags. This is an Earth tag. It represents things that came from Earth or are happening back on Earth. Oh, it's a Planet Earth tag. Um, this Jupiter is a Jovian tag. Uh, I pointed out the science one there. And this is a microbiology or microbacterial tag. So again, they don't do anything all by themselves, but they might. There might be cards that say, if you have five Jovian tags, gain two victory points. So what like does that. that mean then? That means next uh, to it. that means you must already have one. Okay. It actually says that requires a Jovian tag. All right. All right. Again, ninety-nine percent of the time they're explained in the fine okay. print down there. Um, so now we can explain actions. Since you know that some cards will give you additional action options here, I'll tell you what the other ones were. So that was playing a card, the most complicated action, okay? <laughs> the other actions that you can take as part of your one or two actions a turn, um, and there is no, there's no limitation on doing the same action twice in a row or the same action as many rounds in a row as you like. The standard projects here are things you can do Without for any card. action. They, these are available to all of us all the time. Right. If you have cards that you're just never going to get to play, maybe they had to be played before a 4% auction and now we're, now we're at 7 or they're just not working for your strategy, you can sell patents. You can ditch cards for money, essentially. Discard any number of cards from your hand. There is no hand limit, by the way, other than, than whatever your hands can hold. You can have <laughs> as many cards as you want. Physical hand limit. <laughs> ditch as many cards as you want. Take that many mega credits. Four cards gets me four mega credits. Again, I probably paid three to draw these cards, so yes. that's a pretty serious loss, but mm. sometimes you just need a little, and sometimes you just need a mega credit or two to play your big card this turn. Right. That's cell patents. Power plant lets you raise your own power production for 11 mega credits. Just go up by one production. An asteroid costs 14 mega credits and just lets you raise the temperature. Hmm. Of course, that means that you also get a TR point, right. and, um, and that's a victory point and a money income always. Before I forget, there's three little symbols here on the temperature track and one on the oxygen track. Those are bonus spots. If an action you perform or a card you play, anything that happens on your turn, raises the oxygen to 8%, you also get a bump on the temperature track. It's just a free bonus. If an action you perform or a card you play or anything you do raises the temperature to this 24 or negative 20, you get a bonus heat production. These are just these are actually scientifically researched tipping points in the ecosystem or weather system of Mars that would literally this is as soon as the oxygen reaches this level, greenhouse gases start to form and the temperature rises. Nice. So they are there's research behind them. Huh. Um, you can even chain these together. If you do something that raises oxygen to 8%, and then that temperature bump gets you the heat production bump, you still get that as well. And then the last one is if something you do raises the temperature to zero, that's a free ocean placement. Hmm. Just Those are just instantaneous bonuses for the person who just <clears throat> hits those levels. I forgot to mention those before. 
you can place an ocean for 18 mega credits. Take one of these tiles, place it out there. Again, you get uh, bonus money for placing next to oceans, and you raise your TR every time you do that. Make sure there's nine in there, Dave. Mm -hmm. um, you can place a greenery tile by just paying cash. It's a big expenditure, but it also gets you uh, a victory point for the greenery tile and a TR raise, and it raises the oxygen because that's what greenery tiles do. Or you can place a city. That costs 25 mega credits. Don't, cities, of course, are worth VPs, as we discussed. You get one mega credit production bump income. And of course, there are cards that will place cities as well, but that's just a way you can just put one out there if you need to, if you have the cash. I'm gonna skip milestones and awards for just a second because there's two other very simple actions that are written on your player board down here. I discussed this one. You can convert eight plant cubes into a greenery tile. You would just take them out of here that you if you had eight and place a greenery tile. That's an action. That is an action. These okay. are all actions. Okay. Um, and I hate going back and saying, I forgot to tell you this, but I did when we were talking about the tiles. I told you how cities can't be next to each other, except for that one exception. A greenery tile must be placed next to a tile that you already own, if possible. <laughs> okay. If possible, right? It's possible that, say, I built a... Uh, it's crowded already. It gets crowded around, right? These are ocean tiles. Uh, and maybe Nikki built greenery and, uh, you know, stuff here. Right. So if it's not possible, you can place it anywhere. Now I can place it up here and get my free card or whatever. But if possible, it must be placed next to a tile you already own. I forgot that bit. Um, but so eight plant cubes become a greenery tile. Eight heat cubes, remember all your energy is going to shift over to heat at the end of the generation, become a temperature rise. Can become. Can. If you, if you As an action, you can convert eight energy cubes into one raise on the temperature thermometer. Now, back to the board. <laughs> These are the last two actions that you have, and they are a major source of victory points in the game. These are milestones. These are awards. There are five of each, and we're only going to use three. So we, the players, will actually sort of determine the end game bonus categories and what is going to be worth extra VPs. Neat. <clears throat> so as an action, you may pay eight mega credits and claim a milestone. For milestones, you have to already be the guy with the milestone and you're claiming it immediately. It's five victory points. You wait and tally it at the end of the game, but you can see pretty clearly yeah, when someone has done it, it's done. The milestones are this. Terraformer, I have 35 or higher TR rating already. If I have it and I take this action and pay eight, I've guaranteed myself those five points. Mayor, I have three or more cities out on Mars with my cubes on them. Gardener is the same but for greenery tiles, three, gar three greenery tiles marked with my cube color. Builder is eight building tags. That would generally, I think, be eight building cards, but there could be one on, uh, or it could be more than one on something, or um, on the advanced corporations that we're not using might have a building tag. I'm gonna come back to what other rules we are not using advanced rules on. Okay. And planner, that is just cards in your hand. That can be done in the first or second generation if you try for it, or you get the right cards. Holding 16 cards in your hand if you have the $8 to spend, we'll get you five victory points at the end of the game. That's it. You don't ever have to have 16 again. You don't have to hold them for any point beyond that. But only three of those can be purchased. So if Dave does the card one and I do the garden one and Nikki does the mayor one, no one's ever getting points for having 35 terraforming or eight building tags. Awards, somewhat similar. Only three of them can be done, but they increase in cost. The first person to establish an award meaning essentially I'm creating a, uh, an end game scoring category, pays eight, the next one pays 14, the next one pays 20. So they get more expensive as the game goes on. But I don't have to be leading in the category when I establish it, it doesn't immediately award anything and I might not get any of the points at the end of the game. <laughs> nice. But what these do is establish uh, you know, tracks essentially or categories to, to win in. Landlord is owned hexes on Mars. Uh, at the moment, I'm winning. I have four hexes out there to your one. 
So I have the lead on that one. Banker is mega credit production. I don't care how much money you have, it's just production per turn. And again, I wish I could travel back in time and tell you this when I was talking about the player mats, but you can have more than 10 production in anything. Um, if we were not using these cool acrylic player mats, you would, for instance, place one on 10 and one on three to show 13 production. Mm -hmm. Our cool little player mats actually have a special cutout for plus 10. Mm -hmm. So that would be 13 mega credit production. There's no cap to any of those production tracks. I forgot to say that 20 minutes ago. <laughs> um, so bankers make a credit production. Scientist is science tags. As we discussed, that's a reason you keep those cards out here and track how many tags you have. Thermalist is heat cubes. Not production this time, just straight up how much heat you're holding in your heat tanks. And miner is steel and titanium cubes added together. Not production again, just the cubes, and these two added together as just one lump sum. Now, each of those categories, again, there's five, but we're going to choose three as the game goes on by paying for them, is worth five points to the leader of that category at the end of the game and two to second place. And ties are friendly in these award categories. If uh, Lincoln has the most tiles, but we all tied for second, me, Nikki, and Dave, we all get the two points for second place. Okay. If, if there's a tie for first place, no one gets second place, but there's no tiebreakers here. Everyone who's tied gets first or second if it's awarded. Um, the tiebreaker for victory points at the end of the game is mega credits, is cash. One more thing about the global parameters here, the ocean, temp temperature, and oxygen. If, say, oxygen has reached 14% already, but the game hasn't ended yet, you can still play a card or do something that raises the oxygen. Like this card might say, raise the oxygen and get two titanium and do this. You still do as much of that as you can, but since the oxygen can't be raised anymore, you don't get the TR and essentially the victory point for that anymore. Uh, you still can play that card and do as much of it as possible, but you cannot, you can't get a reward for raising the temperature when it's already maxed. You can't get a reward for placing an ocean when there are none left. You can't get a reward for this when it's already maxed. So. Once the game end is triggered by all three of those parameters being completed, we finish out that generation. Some players might have already passed and be out, but you finish right. that generation, that's it. Then we all have one more chance to convert plant resources into greenery tiles. Not to take this action over here that turns cash into greenery tiles, just plants that you have in your bank right here. It's one final plant conversion? It's one final plant conversion. Does that happen in it. player order? And does it go one at a time? It is in player order, and you do everything you have. So, so if I have 16 plants, I can do two of those? Yes. Okay. Um, or maybe even you have 14, and you earn two more by placing a tile on this hex, and now you have enough to build a second one. Okay. Um, th that could also affect, say, the landlord award, if we've chosen it by whoever can afford to place more hexes on the board. That is the last thing you do during the game, convert those plants to greenery, and then we count up victory points. Your TR rating, again, is your base victory point score. Uh, cards have victory points on them. Could be events you've played or cards you've already you've got in your display. Um, milestones and awards and cities and greenery tiles on the board are your source of VPs. And uh, the, the rules recommend that it's best to have one player just score up each player and everybody else sort of check them. <laughs> that makes sense. So that's it. That's how you terraform Mars. I have one final question for you. I will allow one final question. You never got in. When does this slide over? When does power turn into I heat? Did, I did skip the production phase, which is the last thing that happens in a generation, um, after we've all taken our actions and all passed. The final part of a generation is the production phase, which has two bits. Slide all your energy over into heat. That might be nothing as it is right now. All your energy becomes heat immediately. And then we all just do our own production. I get one mega credit, and I get one steel, and I get one titanium. So you just take cubes right. from the supply. Well, you get more than one mega credit, right? You get this plus. You're right. I get 21 right now. But power so, that yes. gets produced can't be converted. It takes. It basically takes two turns to two. get power into heat. But there are other ways to get heat, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Um, and now, while Dave shuffles these cards and deals 10 to each player, I will really quickly tell you the three somewhat advanced <clears throat> rules that we're not using. We're trying to play the simplest beginner game we can. <laughs> we're all using beginner corporations. Okay. 
We start with 42 mega credits and we get 10 cards to start the game. You could play with the advanced corporations. Now we don't need these cards anymore. Our corporations are done with be, <laughs> to be doing what they do. The Lincoln Corporation is exactly the same as the Dave Corporation. It's exactly the same as the Nikki Corporation. Okay. There are corporations that have different starting cash and even maybe have like steel production or different changes here. Okay. Um, some of them have special abilities or discounts on certain type of cards. Um, they might even have a forced first action like you must do this on your first turn. But for simplicity's sake, we're just using the basic corporations. There is a draft the cards rule. Instead of the rule I explained where at the second <clears throat> step of every generation we're going to take four cards and decide to buy zero, one, two, three, or four of them, mm -hmm. um, there's a draft rule where you pass cards counterclockwise or clockwise around the table. Then you still end up buying, but you have a little more control over what you and your neighbors get. And the last optional advanced rule is there's about a hundred cards in this deck that are corporation, age of the corporation cards. And we took those out because they, they just lengthen the game. They're more about the corporations and the things that they do, and they have less impact on actually terraforming Mars and getting to the end of the game. So they're fun and they're very advanced, but they, you know, for our first simple on-camera game, we didn't, didn't use that rule either. So, we all have ten cards to start. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take us a little time to look at them and decide on what to do with them. But uh, that's your starting hand, and when Lincoln's ready, he can take one or two actions. We get these for free? We don't have to no, buy them? That is your them? starting hand of ten. Okay. Okay. You drew ten cards to give birth to your corporation. <clears throat> okay. Well, you spend thirty to keep them, <laughs> and you'll be left with twelve. So I can do two things, right? Or one, but yes. Can I do this? I do my pets. Pets! Oh. Animals may not be removed from this card. Add one animal to this card, one PV VP per animal here, and what happens is... Um, I get to, uh, when any city tile is placed, add an animal to this card. Wow. Oh, cool. That's so funny. just basically, you get a half a point every time a city gets built. Yep. That's oh, a great that, card to start that with. Is, that is a great card to start with. Is he just living in the so ship So I put right an animal now? on there right off the, yeah, he came with him. He came there's, with. There's no outside Because of an animal? Yet. Just put it right there. I know, nice. there's no oxygen or nothing that they, the, Well, he's in our little habitat. He's in our little rover. That's great. Rover. And you have a second action if you would like. Yes. You are not required to do it, but you can. That's a yes. good price, too. Yes, I'm gonna, um... Yeah, that's great. Import GHD, which is a... Flip it over so it's, so it's done, which is a ga uh, greenhouse gases to help retain heat. We're gonna do that right off the bat, because we need to get this greenhouse mm, gas going. It's your dog so, farting. I will increase my production, and I gain three heat. Nice. Hot heat. Don't use those. Use copper. Oh, okay. That's weird. Yeah. Well, it makes sense, because you have to put ten there. You well, don't want to put ten of these, yeah. you want to put just a ten. Oh, and just three, not one. And that costs seven. Yes. It was ten so and confused. seven. There is seven. Put them in the wrong place. Yep. Stuff I'm up. messing up your They're organization. Not be oh my goodness. I'll and then because that, that is an turn. event, you flip it yep. over. Yes. Never to be looked at again. Until Never. the end of the until the end of the game. Well, <clears> maybe. All right, I'm going to play Subterranean Reservoir. It is an $11 event, and it allows me to place an ocean tile. Uh, ocean tiles can only go on ocean, is that correct? That is correct, and although I forgot to say it in the beginning, uh, nothing else can go there. Only you ocean tiles build can go a city on ocean. Or can't say that. Let's cover this I and pick I think I only up said it one way, but it Two titanium for that excitement. That's Good neat. For and for my, oh, that's an event. Turn it over. Done for my second action, geothermal power. That costs 11, and I will increase my energy production by two. Geothermal power ran great. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that's what, what? he does. He's doing all in the family. Mm. GR roll is Sal ran <laughs> yeah. great. All right, I'm going to, Man. I'm going to also play two cards. That's awesome. Hey Lincoln, you get to put a pet on that thing. Sweet. Well, are you I'm going to build it immediately? I'm going to build an immigrant city. All right. All right. Uh, each time a city is placed, I will get a mega credit production. Wow! If you have that and pets, go to work cool in be. other cities. But for now, I lose two uh -huh. income earning abilities, income and and I lose one Anger energy game. production, and I place a city tile. City. So cities can go anywhere but the ocean spaces. Anywhere but the ocean spaces. And Melty, and no, Noctis City. Melty, Melty. And city score, just to clarify, city score a point at the end of the game, 
Plus a point for, for every, every greenery, greenery tile okay, that you. they touch. Correct. But you only get bucks when there's for water when it's near water, right? Right. right. So you do that. If I went here, yeah. I could I could do that right now and get two bucks and, and a titanium. A titanium. Mm -hmm. But I think that seems like a good spot though, because greenery is going to probably come in here. Cities and greenery, right? There won't be well, a city. Campy cities, cities right? Go there. City. Right. So no cities here. It'd be greenery if people put it there. Only Either Aaron, one. Only At least you get is... titanium for that, or you get a plant. Mm, he's well, he could get a card. He could get I, yeah. I think titanium in a plant. I'm thinking about that. I'm Dave's thinking about going over by Noctis here. Stop yeah. thinking too hard. Yeah. Right. I, I will go. I'm gonna go to Pavanus Mons and get a oh, yeah. plant and, and a titanium. titanium. That's okay. Sweet. Well, and then that means plants. <clears throat> and my second card. Oh, I, I didn't pay my 13 for Immigrant City. And take me down to Immigrant City. So you are okay. Two actions. Two actions. We've, so it. far, we've all played two cards. Got it. Um, this is a blue card. It does not have an action in built into it, but I'm going to place it here so that I remember every time someone plays a city, right. I get an increase in make credit. I'm going to play Peroxide Power. Do you get an increase for placing that city from that card? No, you just Only get when you do this one? Yes. yes. Okay. That comes with an increase as an just extra thing. Sure you didn't um, Dave, one. did you raise your TR for placing an ocean? He did oh, not. I did not. Thank you. I forgot I get to do that. And you took it off of here, right? I did. Right. Where else would I take it? There, there's a card in here, in somewhere in here, that might place like an additional ocean beyond uh -huh. the regulars. Okay. But it's probably one of these tiles. Okay. Uh, if I didn't make that up anyway. Peroxide power. It, the Martian ground is full of oxidizing agents. I lose another mega credit production, but I gain two energy production. So now I'm up to two on that. All right. And and, and I could seven. have spent. Let's try to let's try to spend for our cards first, so we don't forget. Well, I sometimes forget. <laughs> Maybe I like it that I way. I tried to not. No, I paid for that one. I didn't uh, pay for the second one. If right. I had steel, I could have used it for either one of those because they're both buildings. But I didn't, so I spent money. Thank you, done. Thank you. Done. Thank you, and I'm done. Thank you, and I'm done. Thank you. Right. Right. I'm gonna do an immigration immigration shuttles. It is expensive, but I want to get it out there. Um, <clears throat> so it's thirty-one. Oof. Yeah, I know. Yikes. It must have great stuff on it, though. 31. I increase my money thing by 5. five. Wow. Yeah. That's spectacular. One, two, three, four, five. So that takes me up to six. Yeah. One victory point for every third city in play. At the end of the game. So is that, a, it doesn't say it's at the all, end of the game. Everything's at the end of the game. All victory okay. points at the end of the game. That's still great, though. That is, right. yeah. So now you want so, all of us to build cities. Then... Uh, I'm not building cities. You people nope. with your pets 11. and your that only leaves me immigrants with and your immigrants. So I'm gonna build another, do another card for three, which is increase your heat production one step, and that's that's all it it does. All right. All right. So this goes up one. Yep. And I pay three. So I need change for that's a five, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Get two. They're small. They're mm -hmm. small. And I'm off and running. Okay, I'm going to play my research outpost. Right. Another weird thing where it goes here, but it's not one of the other cards. For 18. And that cost me 18. 18 yeah. in life. Is you almost right? have to say the cost first, really. Yeah. yeah. And what it does is uh, when I pay, play a card, you pay one mega buck, one mega whatever it is, less for it. For all future cards? Yeah. Yes. Nice. So it discounts everything. So I place a city. And you place a city? Oh, yeah. it's an outpost. That makes sense. But next to nothing else. Oh, that's next the, to nothing. This is the perfect time to do that. Yeah. At the beginning mm -hmm. of the game. But he can't give himself free money for going next to the ocean. It doesn't matter. Like, there might be a situation near the end of the game where that card, where you wouldn't get the extra city out of it. I don't think so. You think there's always going to be a place uh, Again, free? we've all played once or twice at most, but I, I've, I don't think that the game... I guess it depends on how built up everything I think is, it's right? Weird. Don't forget to place a pet after you place that city as yes, well. Yes, I'm going to and be doing that. And don't forget to do your yeah. thing. Thank you. He hasn't done it yet, though. He hasn't done it yet. Wait till he does it. I'm waiting. I'm just wondering what's best. I probably should just get a card. Yeah. I do think cards are not bad. And he gets that card for free, right? He doesn't have to just, pay for it's it. in his hand immediately. He could play it right yeah. now if he liked oh, it. Oh, wow. Mark your tile. Right. Mark, yep. mark your cube. Yep. Take a I'm, pet. They're small. You take a pet. I take a mega credit production. That's pretty awesome. It, I'm not it, building it, any cities. It says, taking care of immigrants <laughs> is costly, but will begin to pay off when they start working for you in the growing society. Here's what's actually cool right now, which is I am seriously considering if I can find a strategy now that involves building no cities. 
because it helps two players. Yeah. yeah. Three. It helps us all. You have Maybe one more I should have waited on use this the, one. Well, use the colored cubes to mark the pets. Oh, he's right. Yeah. Okay. The, co the copper cubes. Because if you get five or ten, okay, you'll want Okay, back up. Yeah. Scott? It's not a big deal. Yeah, but... No, but... It but is. You were done talking. I mean, no. going on. All right. We talked over each other. Oh, you know what? I, oh, you know what? I should be using the the copper. Yeah, because for the pets. Oh, sorry. Oh, right. Because you're gonna yeah, clearly have you're gonna clearly have twenty on there. Well, at least five, five and it's that. gonna be easier have. to see. Yeah, basically, <laughs> player cubes are for your incomes and marking your ownership of stuff. And if you have an action on a blue card, you mark with that you've taken it. Right. Anything that basically is a tally. You should use these cubes for, because they're the counting cubes. Are, are, do you have a second action, Lincoln? I think that's it. Mm. All right, I am going to import advanced GHG. It is a nine dollar event. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's greenhouse gases. I get one back, and that increases my heat production to one Ooh. two, and that goes face down like this, and I will pass. That's I will. That's my one action. Do you get anything? Nope. Okay. It just increases. Mine, mine gave me three. I just Yours gave you one production and three, three thing, yeah. and mine just gives me two production. I'm gonna boy. We all love GHG so much, don't we? I'm gonna play GHG Factories. Ooh, that's uh, better. It's not a synthesizing event. powerful GHGs, releasing them, releasing them into the atmosphere. Uh, it decrease. Oh, I will pay eleven dollars for it. Mega credits. <laughs> <laughs> it, it decreases my energy production back to one where it started, but increases my heat production by four. Ooh, nice. Yeah. And I'm going to also pass and just take that one action for now. All right. I am doing a fueled, gener fueled generators for just one. <clears throat> one. Just one, nice. And that it decreases wow. my money thing by one. And it ups my energy production by one. So there we go. But best of all, it only cost one mega credit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good deal. So yeah. Nikki, what Aaron had suggested was that you yes, yeah, stack them. See, like this. Since they're not doing anything now ongoing, Anymore. all you care about is the tags for the end right. of the game. Well, oh, I want to remember this. No, the blue oh, no, is an ongoing thing. Yeah, yeah. Then I, keep I don't that know. one on top. Should I do it like that? Well, yeah. this no, one probably that one could go under Because the rest of them don't do anything it just other means than the buck. As, as long as you remember you have it. It, right. it had its effect the already. The reason they say to keep the blue done. up is so that you remember yeah, I mean, you have it. Yeah, the, really, that doesn't do anything, right? Right, nothing. Right. This, is what, this is how the rules sort of advise you to I'm just trying keep your stuff. To keep the space, I guess I can do that. There's plenty of words. Yep. Now these are discounts, No, no. They could be discounts, or they could be like... You need Maybe you get a victory point that. for every Earth thing at the end of the game or okay. something. If another card help does that, all right. right? Or you must have an Earth tag to play something. Okay. They're all just sort of maybes, really. All right. Um, I, I am passing on my second move. And we're all sort of getting tired already. Yeah. All right, Lincoln. I think I'm passing. All right. I am going to play the Rad Chem Factory. It's rad, man. <laughs> it's rad. It cost me eight. And I decrease my power production, but I bump up two here. Done. Two? Yep. Wow. I think I'm actually going to be done. I'm going to save all these for later. So I will pass. Okay. So there's, if I can't afford to do any of my cards. You can do. And I can't do this because I only have seven. There's nothing I. Is there well, anything else? You don't even want to do that. You, you, you would well, have no be on specific. Just to be technical, you can't do any of the milestones anyway till you actually physically achieve them. These are the ones you have to okay. have already. All right. If you had eight, though, you could do this. But, okay. Right. But so you can't do that. You you can do this, but you don't have the plants. You can do sure. this, but you don't have the heat. You can do any of those. So you, really, if you can't oh. afford anything, the okay. only thing you can do right now sell is cards. sell cards. Yeah. And that's and that's if you think you see no. one that you're never definitely ever gonna play. Nope. All right. So I'm passing. So you're passing. And Lincoln already Pass. passed. I am going to sell two cards and take two dollars. <clears throat> and then it goes, uh, would you like a second action? I will pass, and when it comes back around to me, I will also pass. All right. Now, I know I should have done that all last turn. I wanted to demonstrate how that turn worked. Out. Thanks, right. Dave. Good job. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Mr. So, Know-it-all. First, uh, Mr. know it some. None of us have any energy, but if we did, we'd slide it over and convert it to heat. Now, 
take all your production. Don't forget that your money production is your TR plus or minus your mega right. credit production on there. So right now so I'm you at 25. 25. So you get two golds and a silver. Okay. One. I get one of these. And one of these. And basically you're putting one cube in a lot of the other space, spaces if you didn't change your production. Okay, Rick. <laughs> two of these. <laughs> and three of these. So one, one. Okay. Rick Sanchez. One. <laughs> Right? I just... Yeah, right, For camera. Right. Yep. One, one. I haven't done any of this yet. But one, but one. They're all one. Yeah. You didn't one. change any... Or no, sorry, no, it's two energy. That's yep. two. And two there. And two there it's because hard I... It's hard to see through these transparent cubes. All right. When does the sliding happen? It already happened. So basically, energy... <clears throat> You can only use this right now, this next generation, because okay. then it's going to become heat again, right? All right. So you're never going to build up four or six or eight while you produce two. Never going to build okay. you up. All right. <laughs> that is the end of the generation if we've all produced. Okay. This slides to generation two, past the start player, and now four cards to each player, and you will look at them and decide which of them you're going to buy for three mega credits. So every card we keep costs three. Correct. Are they wonderful? No, I literally was looking for one thing. I didn't get it. But you even <laughs> knew to look for it, which is like, Whoops, don't mix those in with your other cards. Yeah, that's true. You kind of don't want them in your hand yet. I mean, for mine, $12. You kept them all? Yeah. I know. Some I don't of, really have well, great I, cards in my it hand. It seems sometimes you want to do that. I'm actually thinking of keeping these all, but then I don't have the money to do the thing I want to do, right? I can't do much anyway. Okay. I'm not keeping that one. So I'm going to keep three. So that's $9? Yep. I'm keeping two for $6. Downers, I've got a lot of cards that are, <clears throat> um, you know, temperature yep. or oxygen, depending yeah. on whatever. Yeah, yep. I have some of those. Not a ton. And it's not like I've had before. <laughs> wow. I think I'm going to keep all of them. Wow. Well, do I want to? You only have thirty-two dollars. You want to spend twelve right now? Not really. <laughs> but but if, they're are... if they're great, you know. Part of the game is figuring out what do you want to spend for this turn, and. And here we go. That's getting rid of. Yep. Oh, so you paid nine for three. I paid nine for three. All right, Dave. All right, solar power. I'll spend eleven. <laughs> And I will increase my energy production one step. So there's the 11. Done. I will not take a second action. I'm going to play an ice asteroid. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to spend my two titanium. To help produce it? Yeah, so it costs 23, but it has the titanium, the space-faring titanium symbol. Minus so six. So that's minus six. So I'll pay that and 17 in cash. Cache. Chaos. And I get to place two oceans immediately. Neat. Wow. And I'm going to draw three cards by placing them here. <clears throat> and do each of those bump you they up here? each bump me up on your red, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. Oops. Shoot. I need to. I want to place one somewhere else. No, I'll do one. I'll take it. All right. And I'll just be done with that one action for now. Goodness, this is gonna. Some of these are gonna be hard to do. Mm -hmm. At the I, really, I mean, way, you right? can't do everything. That's, well, that's I mean, sort I, of I the name I of the game. I think I'm kind of right? out. I'm trying wow. to decide. So early to say that. Though. I know. I'm. I'm. I'm planning my whole game around like these. The three cards that I think I yep. can get to. Yeah. Right now. Well, my point is, is I don't have much I can do. I mean, I'll try. I'll, I guess I'll just do this one. Well, I don't know if it's turn. a good idea. Okay, I am doing. Artificial photosynthesis. Oh, cool. All right. So that is uh, 12 right there. Boom. Oops. And I can increase uh, my plant production by one step or my energy production by two steps. I'm going to do my plant production, actually. Oh, really? One. Not your energy? Well, She's got energy boosted already. Yeah. Already. I have it plants. boosted, and I've got... 
some stuff in here I want to have. So it stacks on the other So part. it stacks on the other Girls part. just want to grow plant ants. I know, silly. And um, No, not silly. Bad. That was my... <laughs> well, that too. That's... That was one. Do you, would you want to do another one? I'm thinking about selling a card. <laughs> uh... No, I'm gonna hold on to him for now, so that was just my one deal. Okie doke. I guess I'm gonna do the insulation, which doesn't cost a lot. It's my, it's one. Because you have a discount? Yeah. Nice. Mm. Um, but I just can dump, just go down two to increase my cash production, my mega bucks production by one. So it'd been nice if I could have waited till there was more heat, but I don't have, I don't, uh, I don't have a lot of production or whatever. And do you have a second action? No, I'm pretty much probably done. I pass. I'm done for the entire round. I think I might be too with my one. <laughs> I did one thing car. too. Like, I mean, yeah. that's because you do everything in your first turn, right? Yeah. Well, you have that's you have, have a lot money. of money in you your first turn, and you spend it because you got if you, you know have cards, you start with ten cards. Right. I think actually, I think I'm going to sell a couple cards, and I can do I can just squeeze out one more action. Let's see. I'm going to sell two cards. Two cards. Two it's cards. The beat be. is one. Ugh. Should I stop all that? Is what you're saying? Please, right? <laughs> it's worse than my jokes, and mine are pretty long. Oh my god! I'll place this restriction. Uh, all future jokes. <laughs> I'll place this restriction. All future jokes I make must involve Mars in some way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh boy! I don't know if that's gonna work. But. Well, that's the beauty. It'll work. It'll work as far as you're concerned. It'll stop me from making any jokes. You can go. I'm just you gonna sell two Mars cards. Movie jokes. I'm taking my two dollars. And I'm selling signed. this card and one card to be named in five seconds. But but, but Aaron says go but ahead. I say and go ahead time. if you like. I'm I'm not going to take a second action yet. Well, she's almost broke too. Well, I, that's I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I just want ten more seconds for it to come around to me. Yeah, I'm doing in a sense what you're doing, right? You're keeping money so yeah, that you passing. can have like a big turn later. That was my thing. All right. I knew that was Back pass. to you. All right. So there you go. When oh, you're man, when you've thrown away your card and we can do our he still can do one. No, I'm going to play one more. Oh, you're right. True, he can. No, I. Uh, I'm glad you guys are doing the same thing because that was where yeah, my turn was you're... going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I've sold my two cards. Okay. I have nine mega credits, and I'm going to play mining rights. Okay. Um, mining rights. Oh, I didn't rights. even need to sell those cards because <clears throat> I could use steel. I'll do it anyway. Steel counts for two. Wait. It's a building. Ah, thank you. And I'll spend seven. And I get to place. The mining rights, there's actually Ooh. two of these hexes, Interesting. on an area that produces steel or titanium, and then I get to raise my production by one. So I get a titanium for placing there. It's not in lieu of getting it? Nope. Okay, it's the cool. effect of the card. Nice. And, I'm, and placing the hex has the normal effect. Okay. I get $2 for placing next to I was ocean. about to ask you that question. That's nice. And I get an increase in titanium production. So nice. So you're going to eke out another turn? No, that no, was then it. He's done. That was it. Pass, pass, pass. Back to you, pass. Yeah, pass. Okie doke. So That's everything over here slides. Energy slides. Yeah, it's a bummer. Erp. And now everybody produce 23, 24. And one of these. And one of these. And one of these. And three. Three of these. And three of these. Two of those. And you are the hey, new start player. Why do I only have one here? I should have had two. No. You played I a played card, played a card, didn't card you? that did it this turn. Right. Oops. And then two of those. Ready? Yeah. Yes, sir. And what about did you get two here? You all you slide those over, but you also yeah. produce two heat. Can we skip this part because I <laughs> don't. No, you get more cards. I it's good. I cannot afford any more cards. And then don't buy them. You guys, you guys have all played these cards that cost like <clears throat> one and two. I haven't seen anything under nine. Oof. Well, I got a fistful of cards. Is that the Clint Eastwood movie that you ever got made? Whoops, mm -hmm. no. A no. Oh, like oh, these are actually easier because they're so crappy. <laughs> I can just throw them away. Oh, that's cool. I kind of like that. Oh, no, I like all of mine. Keeping that yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, no for that one. Oof. Oh, these are... 
I really hate these. I hate no, you, no, you like it. I know. I really don't like the the cards that. Where are the discarded cards? We're just, we're just throwing them over here. I had one over just, here too, Lincoln. Okay. That was discarded. Yeah, right I really don't like the cards that yank plants from other players. Yeah, they're not. There's a lot of mean cards. Luckily, that's optional. My biggest problem, as I have said in about other games, is it's any single player as opposed to, like, this card, if I played it, would allow me to take eight plants from another player. Eight? That's, that's insane. If it yeah. was, like, two plants from all players. I believe there are some that hit everybody, Well, still. If, if you know who the leader is and you can target them, it, it sort of makes sense, but it's just hard to know when that is, right? I'm going to keep two. So that's, what, six? I'm also going to keep two for six. Okay. This goes with... Man, I still only have enough money to pay one card. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's up with this? I know. What's up with this? <laughs> Get there. Oh, I'm first. Yep. Um, first, I'm going to spend eight heat to raise the temperature on Mars. Neat. So you go up one here? Yes, and this yeah. goes up to negative 28. Yep. Um, then I'm going to... Go to Paris, France. And we love that joke. You really do. We love it. Mm. We love it. Victory Boulevard? Dude, I'll, I'm going to wait. I'm going to play... It. I'm going to play 17... No. It has a it has a space thing. I'm gonna play a giant space mirror for 17, but I'll use this for nine of it because it has the titanium yep. mm -hmm. space varying symbol. So this nine plus eight more gets me a giant space mirror, which raises my energy production four levels, three levels. Sorry. All right. Of the cards I can play right now, I am gonna play release of. Inert gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys, oh, so silly. Things are funnier on Mars. Oh, anyways, uh, that may is may not be inert. <clears throat> Mars has an extra twenty-eight percent hilarium, <laughs> <laughs> and that way it makes jokes more funny. <laughs> uh, raise the terraforming rating two steps. So I got to nice. pay fourteen. So there's twenty. Six. Boop. And that, again, although it probably doesn't matter, is an event card to go face down while you're done playing it. Oh. Okay. Just that, because of the arrow. Just no, I was looking at... Okay. There we go. Done. I'm going to power plan it up. Um, power plan it. has steel, so I can... Cost, are you going to play it? I'm going to do one because... Because it, it costs three, yeah. I, and I get a discount, right? Yep. So I'm going to do that. It'll be... For two, and then you need to spend one more. One real buck. Yep. And it lets me uh, increase my energy yep. production. And hmm, he said, the "Discount is nice." Yeah, only paid eighteen for it though. Yeah, but, but it's also, a good. It also got a mistake. Put it this way, it's nice because you get it at the beginning. Yes, I'm going to um, wait. I'm going to wait just and maybe make a decision to do it again or not. All right. I'm going to play Lava Flows, an $18 event. And there's my 18. And it allows me to raise this two. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> I bump up two here, one, two. And I increase my heat production by one. And I get to place this volcano mm. Ooh. on ah. one of four spaces that have these funky names that I'm not going to pronounce. But suffice to say, I'm going to choose this one. And that gets me a card. And that turns face down, and I will pass on my second action. You own the volcano. Place your oh. cube on it. For mm, what purpose? Oh, because it's a tile I own? It's yeah. For, for the landlord, landlord purpose. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, you own a volcano. Well, it's got yeah. a space for a <laughs> Come Anytime visit you affect, Dave's volcano. <laughs> you affect the Maybe a bad <laughs> landscape. <laughs> Pop mark. Uh, you know what soap <laughs> we use in the bathrooms? Lava. Yep. Most people don't know what lava. <laughs> I know it's sure. like I'm not taking my second action, so, so you may go. I think I'm done. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, pass. And I'm passing. I'm gonna pass. 
All right. I'm going to spend eight heat. Hot heat. Hot heat. And plan a plan. Look at that. I'm setting Nikki up. So he spent eight oh, to do what? Plan, to upgrade the... Raise the temperature. Okay. Right. You'll have eight next turn. Right? All right. So you'll be the first to get that bonus if you care <clears> about it. Sure. Uh... Uh, and I think that's the only thing I'm doing. I can't afford that, and I don't think I'm legally allowed to do that, so that is my entire turn. I will also pass, pass, pass. All right, we all pass? Yep. Uh, that's the end of Generation 3. You landed on Mars, your children and grandchildren are now dead. And you move on to your great-grandchildren <laughs> and see what they do. All right, slide over uh, your thing. And that dog is still waiting to be released. Slide your heat, <laughs> slide your energy over to heat. 27. Okay. And then do <clears throat> all your production. Which is always now. I am 22 now. Me too. One of these. Two. One of these. One of these. I'll take two of those. They're small. <laughs> oh, I'm one shy. Yeah. And Nikki's a star Nikki's player. Nikki's a star player. And, and we, we get four cards. cards. Yeah, that's hard to see, actually, kind of. I hope I hate all these cards. Yeah, <laughs> right? There is something to be said for that. <laughs> I, I was very happy to know right away that I was throwing away at least two of my cards. But don't forget, having 16 cards could be awesome. Not now. Later. <laughs> yeah, that's a Joe. later game thing. <laughs> don't think yeah, that's I got ever one that happen. looks like it's a game show. That. I need to look at my cards because these are getting confusing. Yeah, you really have to see what they work with, right? Well, I'm confused by like, what they do. And you're like, what? What does that do? Hmm. hmm. Boo, can, can I say boo to that? That would be fun, but I don't think I'm ever going to see that. Hmm. Okay, if I keep three, can I afford to do the thing I want to do? That's the question. Some point, so, so this would cost me nine. I think I can do that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Try not to overthink it. Three. I bought two for six. They're small. Okay. You're first. All right, I'm going to play Cloud Seeding. Uh, I pay 11. 10, and it 11. requires three oceans, which there are on And it requires, I'm sorry, yeah, it yeah. requires three oceans. And uh, I decrease my money production one step. <clears throat> uh, and any heat production Decrease that, one step, and any heat production one step. That that probably means it's a red box. You can choose someone else to, to go down in heat. Oh. Hate stuff like that. I have five, by the way. Go for it. Jerk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, she could hit me. Oh, no, she could. Increase your a plant production two steps. One, two. Two step. And that's the whole card. OK. Mm -hmm. And second action? And then no more cards, and I've got eight in my heat. Okay, that's your hot, second hot action. Hot heat, second action. <laughs> Bring so it up to twenty. That bumps you up here as well. <laughs> yep, and bumps you up over there. Yep, and right her where heat, your where? heat production goes up to, I guess three. Three. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend eight to um, claim. Oh, an award? Yeah, because I got 16 oh. cards. <laughs> no, I mean, a milestone. Nice. I thought somebody might be getting close to that. You have 16 cards in your hand. One, wow, two, you do. Three, Look at that. Four, I can just five, see the thickness. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wow, 16. nice. Yeah. You really have to concentrate on that, though, and like 
just keep buying cards. Well, but it's, <coughs> he, and he's building stuff up for like <coughs> probably a big card later. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do asteroid mining, which is 30, but I can use titanium for that. So I will spend the titanium, which subtracts 9, makes it 21. Also known as 20, because you have a dollar to That's right. Yep. So the only thing, this is the one thing I don't like about these cards. This value being down here, why can't they have it up here as well? Mm. Right? The victory you point want it to be me? big, but you're right. I mean, well, it that's should why, be in both places. That's why Nikki's keeping this one on top, so mm. she remembers her. Well, you're going to go through all your cards at the end of the game. No, but I she, guess so, so she remembers every turn that she has a goal to get more cities on the board. Oh, I see. Okay. In so, this case, that's just two victory points. Right. Right. So what that Increases does is it bumps, by two. Yep. Nice. Bumps that up to. Wow, cool. your turn. All right, all you people that get stuff from cities, yeah, 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 prepare yeah, yeah, to get yeah, your... We're going to build cities. I, I have, have, to, strategy I have to do this one. Phobos Space Haven. Cool. 25, but I'm going to spend 9 in titanium and uh, 16 in credits. And that increases that by one, my titanium by one. And it allows me to place a city... On the reserve area for Phobos Space Haven over here. Put a cube on. Yep. So if you get stuff from a city, yeah. get your stuff. Get Indeed. your pet. Place a pet. Hey. I get a money production. <laughs> and then, uh, since this has to be played while well, it's 18 degrees or colder wow. or cooler, I'll spend six. That gets me five back for that. And that increases my plant production by one. Oh, and that was Archaea bacteria, by the way. What did it increase your plant production? Just by one. More importantly, though, it was cheap, and I had to do it before this got. Yeah, of course. And I actually had it till it got to here, right? It was 18 degrees or cooler. It says, because it says max 18, probably. Right. Yep. All right, I am going to. And we love that joke. Now that there are at least two oceans on Mars, it's time to build a water splitting plant. We crack us up. <laughs> You sure do. <laughs> it says uh, aquifer, or, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Does that mean it's an aquifer and not an ocean? Or? It's just the know. name of the action, the okay. project action okay. that creates the ocean. The water splitting plant is a building, so I'm going to pay two steel for four of it, and then eight <clears throat> in cash for the total of 12, yes? Okay. Um, yep. Yep. <laughs> and then my quiet. second action will be to trigger the water splitting plant. I pay three energy and raise the oxygen. Neat. One percent. Bing. That gets me that. Yep. And done. And I can do that once per generation because that's a blue card action that I have now created. Created? That's correct. All right. <clears throat> How do I use these for money instead of? It, it has to be a building with that <clears throat> symbol or the <clears throat> thing with that symbol. And okay. then you just use it in place of two dollars or in place of three dollars sweet so if this is nine dollars if you wanted to spend it i've got sorry mm -hmm. um, noctis, noct noctis. noctis farming which is 10. okay so i'm gonna uh take it all from the metal place steel. That's, that's six steel. of your ten that's six of my ten and then i've got a five and you so get one get back one zero, change four. back right and that was all ten and what does it do First of all, it requires 20, so that's why I, yeah. that was good I raised it this turn. <laughs> uh, or warmer. Increase your money production one step. So we go up to five and uh, gain two plants. No, you nope, take two not plants. production, just two plants. Oh. Yeah, remember it has to have a brown so, background, yeah. which okay. is the confusing. So that adds to my plant right. situation. And that whole entire card is done, too. Oh, it's one point. Mm -hmm. And I'm passing. Pass. I wasn't ready for those quick passes. <laughs> <laughs> I will spend 18 on a power grid, which leaves me with one mega credit. <clears throat> and it mega increases credit. my energy production one step for each energy tag I have, including this one. So it's three more energy Neat. production. No. Yeah. And I believe, well, I have a dollar, but I believe I'm done anyway. <laughs> now, I'll go ahead and uh, raise the temperature with my eight heat. 
Oh, thank you, Dave, for doing that. Mm -hmm. And now I am done with those two actions. All right, I didn't quite get close enough to my eight in the plants, so I have to pass. I've already passed. I've already passed. Oh, sorry. I am done. All right, so. All right. All right. Slide. First, yep, energy slides. Then take your productions. What am I at now? 27. I've been shortchanging myself on the, uh, my... On this? Yeah, I oh. should have at oh. least a few turns, so I'll take one extra. Make a credit this turn? Yeah. And then... That is correct. All right, you're, Lincoln's a start player, correct? Yes, uh, he is now. Here's your don't four cards. Moves. Don't mix them in your other cards. Holy moly. Yes, please. <laughs> That's nuts. Oof. No. <laughs> That's an easy discard. Is that good? Do I want I think I do want that. Joel. Two of them, so it's gonna cost me six. Or do I do that? Oh, or do I do that? I don't know, Dave. So many things to do. Dave, whatever you do, do well, it on Mars. I know what to do. So I kept two cards that cost me six. How many did you do? I kept two, that cost me six. Same with me, I think every turn I've kept two. Oh, I only kept one, so that cost me three. Okay, mm -hmm. and Lincoln starts <laughs> this round. So I'm gonna beam a, from a thorium asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> and what it does, I need to have the Jupiter, uh, the Jovian, uh, Jovian icon Jovian tag. tag. Which you do on a previous card. And it cost me 32, but I have three titanium, so I will reduce it to 23? Yes. Which is really 22, 22 right? Because you yeah. get a discount. Yep. So let's just do that. Gives me three back. Wow, three production and three power. Yeah, and nice. I've been holding wow. it for no a while kidding. just so that I could get yep. somewhere on that. Totally stuff. makes sense. And then I'm going to spend eight. To bump this up? Yeah. Give him a TR. Finally, my first, yeah, your first one. TR. Wow. I haven't had anything that does it. Nah, you got big, you still got, you got big stuff happening. All right, I am going to build the food factory for 12. It cost me a plant production. I'm mean, sorry, it's 12. I will, do I spend, I will spend all, uh, I don't know, I didn't do the math. I'll spend all eight of these. What, what does the food factory do? Two, four, six, eight. Uh, I need four more, right? So I do this and I get back six. Right. I, I goes down into plant production and it bumps me up four here. One, two, three, no, four. No, no, no. That's mega credit production. Oh, you're right. It's One, definitely two, not TR. three, four. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. I'm gonna still do it. One, two, it's still three, it's still a lot four. That's my first move. Well, it's huge. It's in game. Engine. Yep. Yeah. Not in end game points. Yeah, it is an end game point. That too. Well, no, no, that. But I'm saying the four is. Oh, it? right. Yeah. Yes. And then for sixteen, I will build Capola City. So all you city people, Whee! Yay. get ready. Yay. Uh, that cost me sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> and I go down in a power production. This is correct. This bumps this up three. No, this bumps this up three. One, two, three. That's what I meant. The brown chocolate earth is always on Oxygen the board. Oxygen must be it's 9% the, or less. Not right. on the game board. Yeah. And then I build a city, right? Yep. Uh, perfect. Mm. I will get $4, $4 that I actually need to do my next move. I'll take five and put back one. Done. All right. I'm going to build an ironworks. It costs 11 I will use two steel from this one cube, and then I'll pay nine remaining in cash. Uh, and then for my second action, because that ironworks is my sixth building tag, I will claim and pay for the builder Boo. milestone. Ha. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Um, 
nitrogen rich asteroid is happening okay it is 31 but i can pay with this so that's uh those nine. are threes so it's going to be 22. so if you use all, spends them all i'm going to spend them all, all right. oh i'm sorry no, she's eight. got four doesn't yeah, she yeah it's, she's got four. Four. it's, a 12. it's 12. so she it's owes 19. 19 if she's spending so them I, owe, all. I owe 19 for that so there's these are 10. 10. plus the two silver get one back Big All card, right. what's it do? This is going to raise my terraformer rating two. Uh, it's going to raise the temperature one. That also bumps your terraformer rating. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to raise my plant production one step or four steps if you have three plant tags, which I do not. Oh. So it's just going to raise it one. Yep. <clears throat> Could have been huge. It could have. That flips over because. But it wasn't ever gonna happen. No, you're, it's, yeah. If you don't have it, you don't have it. That was one thing, and I'm gonna turn in some of my plants here. And build stuff. Yeah. So there's four. Yep. And I'm gonna. Well, cause eight, right? Well, eight. Yep. I'm sorry, four and four. Yep. Eight. And that's, you just set there for me? No, 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 it's right there. Okay. Where you want, you can get, remember, don't forget about these things. <laughs> it has to go next to a tile she owns if possible. Oh. I have so nothing it, out on the board she yet. She has nothing on the board. Oh, I thought she so was So you green. can yeah. go anywhere you no, want. No, I'm Fine. blue. I haven't done this yet. Then there you go. Except Isn't it can't go, in a, can't go in an ocean tile. That's right. And it can't go here on Noctis City. You can pick up two titanium. Two steel, two steel. Or you can card. get a card. Or plants. Well... What's open right now is, I think, pretty good. That's two steel, right? Yeah. Well, this is also two steel. Placing it next to Lincoln City gives Lincoln a gives point. Gives him points. Yep. Okay, so I'll go by myself. That sort of forms your own little neighborhood up there. And I'll knock that and give myself two. And that raises the oxygen, which gives her another TR. What a great move. Yeah. Look at that. Oxygen. Oops, I put it in my money. Sorry. Yep. That's Nicely the hammer done. and yeah. deal. Okay, done. Nice. I'm going to magnetic field dome it, <clears throat> which dome it up. costs me two energy uh, production. But it bumps up my plant, and it costs me three because um, I'm going to spend two of these, which plus is your four dollar discount. plus the dollar discount. Nice. And I go up one on the TM. Nice. TR. Transcendental Meditation. Yeah. You're, 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 you you're, you're, you have a second capability. Uh, no. All right. Um, I don't have 16 here, Aaron, but I can only do one of these at a time. Is That's that correct? correct. It's a single action. Okay. Uh, all right, so I'll do that for my first. I'll spend these eight, and I'll bump this up. Were we, we were at 14, right? Yeah. And it takes me to here. And then I will spend $8 for my second action. And mark that right there. Wow, he's going for thermalist. So heat in your heat bank is counting for points at the end of the game. Those are my two. Um, all right, I have an idea here. Am I doing that one? I'm going to play Convoy from Europa. <laughs> uh, it's a space faring card, so this. Four titanium pays 12 of the 15 cost, and then mm -hmm. I have three cash to pay the rest. It's an event where I draw one card and place one ocean. So move red up on the TR, please, and I'll place it right here, and I'll take $4 for doing so. And then I will look at my card, and I have one more action, which I will spend. I'll use my ironworks. I'll spend four energy to raise oxygen, giving me another TR, and I get a steel. And that marks my blue card has been used this generation. <coughs> Done for two. Okay. I am going to play Special Design. This card, it costs me four. These are ten again, right? Um, okay. There. Change. Um, what this allows me to do is the next card I play, this generation, is plus two or minus two in the global requirements of your choice. So the stuff here. 
Right. So if she plays a card that says there <clears throat> must be 5% oxygen, it's okay for her next card. Which is what I'm about to do. <clears throat> Nice. I guess perfectly right. <laughs> is, that a, is that an ongoing effect? No, it's no, just it's the once. next card she plays. Okay, cool. Because it's got the flip yeah. yeah. So oh, right. what I am now going to play yeah. is a GHG production bacteria. That's eight, five, six, seven, eight. And it requires 4% oxygen, but because I played the special yep. design, ta-da, then... Add one microbe to this card. This is the action that you now this have. This is the available. action. Tell, tell us what it does. For the. Yeah. For, for the, but the, so this is now a new action space for you, basically. Yeah. Um, that gets used. Um, action. Add one microbe to this card or remove two microbes to raise the temperature one step. Nice. So when I add microbes to it. Yep. It's, no, you, you add one or remove two. Right. So it takes a while to build but up. But I gotta get thing. that stuff on there. Nice. So that was my two actions. Yeah. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. I got a fun card. It's it's dumb, but it's fun. All right. Uh, it may never pay off, but I'm gonna do it all the time. <laughs> it's it's cheap too. It's search for life. <laughs> I send a little rover out digging in the soil for microbes. Okay. And if I ever find them, I get three victory points, but they're really hard to find. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, the card costs three dollars. All right. Um, How do you actually do that? You sp action. Spend one mega credit to reveal and discard the top card of the draw deck. If that ah. card has a microbe tag. Neat. Oh. Add a science resource here, which <laughs> is three victory points at the end of the game. Wow. That's potentially big, though. Is that going to be your second I've action? Had this be it is. All right, because I have one well, mega credit left. All right, but yep. they're they're really rare. The well, microbe we'll tags out. are really really rare. Yep. See, it's got a building tag and a city tag. Yeah, but, hey, but it's, it's fun. It's one fun. credit for three points is not a bad deal. But ten credits for nothing is a bad deal. Nikki, your game. turn. I wonder how rare they are. I I think I looked after my first game and they're pretty rare. Well, they're rarer. Once we build them, they're even rarer when we get the reshuffle. Yeah, I don't even have any in my hand. Uh, I have, I have a couple, and Nikki has a couple, at, and she, yeah, she what? just played one. I don't have any in my hand either. I just that, that one that I built. But they're reasonably rare, is what I'm saying. So yep, makes sense. It may never point pay off, but it's called Search for Life. That's it says, a good card, though. It's fun. Finding native life forms would be the greatest discovery in history. So let's find out. Yeah, that's fun. All right, Nikki, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I can't afford anything, and I almost forgot, but this is an action to put a microbe on there. So yep. I put one of these thingies on yep. there. And, and I think you'll re probably remember, but you should technically put a player cube on there because you can only trigger blue cards once per generation. So, so you, can't just, off when you can't just keep on piling them on there. It's uh, one use per so round. So you just take it off the end of the track. Okay, didn't know that. That makes sense. Got it. Otherwise, you could just infinitely pile microbes well, on there. Well, wouldn't that be better? Yes, it <laughs> would be pretty so, good. Lincoln, I'm uh, sorry, I do you have any, you don't pass. have second action? No, I All can't right. do anything. I do have a second action. I'm going to spend my three energy <clears throat> for the water splitting plant, which raises oxygen again to 4% in my TR. Okie doke. And I believe I am done after that, so yes, I'm done. Okay? Yep. Now slide your energy over into heat and then do all your production. And you remove that cube from your blue card. This one? Yep. Because I did it. Yep. Got it. So I, I have, I've been doing it, but I was the only one who had those types. Okay, now. Seven. Eight. Let's, let's all say how much uh, mega credits we're producing now since it's starting to spread out and the wealthy are becoming wealthy. Okay. Uh, I got 35. Wow, well, I got 29 this turn. 32. You got 25. All right. Go ahead, Go for it. You love doing it. Now we know who the richers, the richies are. Four. That's yours. Nikki. Aaron. That's Nikki's. I don't want him. Then throw him away. Wait, okay. I got a fistful of microbe cards. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. You're taking them away for me, then. I'd love them to be in the deck. Uh, I kept two and paid six. Same. 
Two and six. I'm not keeping any. I kept two and six. Paid six. All right. Uh, for my f- first action, I'm going to play greenhouses. That costs six. And that gets me a plant for every city on the board. One, two, three, four. So I'll take four, put back one. And then for my next action, I'll spend eight plants and build a greenery here. Right? It has to be next to something I've done. If possible, yes. Mm, I guess it doesn't really matter. You've got a volcano over there. But that gives me end game points, right? Yeah. But this gives me end game points. <laughs> And then don't forget to raise the oxygen in your TR. And those are my two moves. Done. Hey, Dave, wasn't that next to an ocean? Oh, you're right. I get two. I totally forgot. You get two mega credits for that. Thank you. Yep. Your city's looking pretty nice right now. End of turn. Um, I'm going to... Well, hey, Nikki, remember back a, a couple generations ago? When yeah. you uh, hurt my heat production? Yeah, hurt your heat. Goes around, comes around. Really? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm gonna play ants. Uh-oh. It has to have oxygen at least 4%, and it costs nine mega credits. Wanna have ants eating my heat? And then I'm going to use ants, remove a microbe from any card, other card, and place it on this card. Ah, oh, three and then they points. get their, No, it's half. No, on, on this card. Oh. The ants get half a victory point per microbe at the end of the game. My ants walked off with my microbe. They <laughs> ate your thing that was trying to do something, so yes. Well. You're welcome. Whatever, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> they, the ants ate my microbe. They did. Um, <laughs> it's very silly. <laughs> but fun. I'm fine with that. I thought you were about right. All right. So, 26. Uh, this is arrow braked um, ammonia asteroid. Can you say that three times fast? No. <laughs> Arrow broke a ma- ammonia <laughs> asteroid. <laughs> and what does I, it I do? I certainly cannot. All right. Well, first pay for it, then tell uh, us let's, what it does. Let's pay. I'm going to use three from my from your titanium. titanium. So twenty-three now. So now it's twenty-three. And this dude adds two microbes to another card. Hey. <clears throat> yeah. Increase your heat production by three. Wow. One, two, three. And my plant production by one. And I'm going to, of course, add two microbes to my microbe thing. Yep. That's legal, yep. correct? There's no limit to what I mean, I'm it. using it correctly. Yes. Okay. No, wait, but you have not activated <clears throat> the card yet. Oh, I did. That was just a different card that added those two. So that's good. It. You can still. Super sweet. Add or remove. And this is a... That's an event, so it's now face down. Yeah. And you adjusted your heat. I am a you. done. I okay. am a done card. And then... All right, let's get rid of some heat. Hot, hot <coughs> heat. Heat up some heat. Heat up some heat. That goes there. That gets you one of these. Done. And that, that was her second action. That was my two. There you go. You just two more to go. <clears throat> I'm going to do the night trite in reducing bacteria. And what that does is I get... Um, okay, cost 10. Yep, cost me 10 buckers. And it allows me to, uh, it gives me three bacteria right off the bat. And then I, f- I can add one every turn, is that correct? As an action. Right. Or spend three. Yep, and I'm going to do that right off the bat. For your second three, action. Yep, and put the little cube on there to show that I've done it. And I will go up one on the TR, on my t- Transcendental Meditation. All right, then. I am going to... Go to Paris, France. And... Sorry. We make us laugh, we make us laugh. And annoy everybody. Make <laughs> us laugh, make us laugh, make us That's laugh. That's all there is. Uh, I am going to... guess I'm going to spend... Nah, I won't do that. I'll just build these zeppelins. Five percent oxygen or more. I'm gonna build zeppelins. Zeppelins it cost me thirteen. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and that bumps up this for every city on the board, of which there's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, wow. three, four. That's a lot of money makings. 
That's one of those cards that I kind of want to save for later, because more cities, obviously, but... And I'm I feel there. like you got good value. That's my turn. Um, I'm going to pay one, make a credit, and search for good life. Luck. Good luck. Have Come fun. on, micro. Nope. I'm actually that, uh, rooting for you. I know. I really want to see it. Well, he's getting through the deck quicker, and those yeah. will come back in. Yeah. That was one. Stop rooting um, for Aaron. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Root for Aaron. Um, I'm gonna play Symbiotic Fungus for four mega credits. Ugh, what an idiot! I, no, no, I think I bought that at the time. It's too late now. <laughs> it um, it allows me to add a microbe to another card, like my ants or like those other things. If I had a yeah. microbe type project, could, could you add it to, to mine? I could, if but you uh, to? I don't see a reason to yet. Well, there are is no wheeling and dealing in this game. Well, if you, so. but if you played something that helped me, maybe we can work out a deal. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. <clears throat> I have a very simple card. I am going to adapt lichen for nine. So there's ten, one back. And that is just adding one to my uh, biology leaf thing. And that's that. And I'm going to, I didn't do that yet, so I will add. Do you want to add or remove? Well, I don't quite see the point yet. Well, if you remove now, somebody get can't get rid of it. Somebody can't screw with it. Yes. Are you going to come at me with your ants again? No, I've already used the ants this generation. <laughs> okay. But I go before you next <laughs> turn. Oh. Well, leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> there you I'll go. use this action. You might as well. That's what it's for. You got to upping remove. the temperature by yeah. one. Which gives her a TR. All it does. I keep gives, forgetting that it gives me that. That's why. It gives you income and I victory points. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Done. That was my two action. I'm going to uh, sell that card for one, because it's too late. I, I need to do it. No, because here. Oh, yeah, it's money. I'm sorry. And I need to do that before the... Uh, oh, so the temperature got that too up. high. They bumped it up. Yeah. Yeah, yep. was, I thought, oh, I'll do this, and I didn't make it. I think the turn, <laughs> somebody's turn before that got me. <laughs> And then um, for seven, I'm going to build this. The reason why it's seven is because it's going to be minus four plus my discount. Yep. And I'm going to build a great dam. <laughs> Needs to have four water, which we have now, four oceans. Nice. And I gain two energy production. Okay. That's what the great dam does? Yes, it does. All right. I got a turn coming. Uh-oh. I'm going to spend eight. You got your seatbelt on? Yeah. To bump the heat up to six. That'll put me here. And now I'm going to cause this Demos Down event. Mm -mm. Cost 31, of which <coughs> one, two, three, four, Demos. five, six. Demos. Oh, Demos. 18 of which is here. 18, 19, 20, 21, 31. Mm -hmm. All right. That's going to bump the temperature up three. Wow. What? Which is going to get me three of these. It's going to get me four of these, four Steel. tools. And Aaron, please lose up to eight plants. Wow. Thanks. I've been collecting them one at a time my whole life. You're not. You don't care about plants. So that's why I did that to you. I get to place an ocean because yeah. I hit that. It's $2 for every ocean. It's every ocean that it touches. Not just every tile, Correct. basically. Okay. <clears throat> so this would get me nothing. Correct. But that would get me $2. Well, those are not valid ocean spaces. Oh, you're right. Go ahead and place it on a blue ocean space. Oh, it has, duh. Well, clearly I'm going here. Helps you, Nikki. Or it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It gets Dave more steel. But everything else is plants, right? Yep. I definitely want more steel. More steel. What is steel? Oh, Diamos. You're right. I didn't see the eye. Diamos down. Done. Oh, and the ocean gets me one of these. Yep. I'm going to, I'm just going to use my symbiotic fungus to add another microbe to my ants card. And that's my one action for now, and I'm done. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything, and technically this should have a thing on it, because I used you it last it. turn. Because correct. So I pass. I'm going to build these shuttles. Shuttles! And what they do is, it, uh, when you play, sp pay, play a space card, you pay two bucks less. 
So it's another discount on top, you know, on with space. the titanium. Yeah. On space. And the nice. reason it's going to cost me nothing because I'm going to use <clears throat> three, titanium. three titanium. Plus your dollar discount. Yep. Nice. Um, and it, it decreases my energy production, but it increases my mega bucks production. <laughs> space bucks. Mega credits. Mega credits. I no, I like mega bucks. I'm, I'm done <laughs> with that. Space bucks. Um, let me think if I'm going to do anything else. Can you get rid of some plants or energy? No, no, he's no I can't. I, I'm not quite there yet. I pass. I will spend three energy to raise oxygen one level. Neat. This, red up one, please. That's with my water splitting plant being activated, and then that's, and I'm done for now. Uh, Back to Lincoln. Yeah. Pass. I passed already. Pass. Okay. Um, I will now <coughs> spend my other four energy for ironworks, which gives me a steel and another oxygen. Red, please. Nice. Uh, that's this. And I will spend all my steel and two dollars on colonizer training camp, which does <laughs> nothing but give me two victory points at the end of the game. That is not shabby. And nope. then I'm done. Oh, I didn't mention on my shuttles it gives me oh. one victory point at the end of the game as well. I only mentioned because it's, my the, cause it's the only thing mine did, <clears> basically. <throat> oh, but... The order that I meant to do that in, if you guys will let me just rejigger those last few actions, sure. was... What was the problem? The colonizer training camp has ah. can be built when oxygen is max 5%. And it started that on your turn, And right? I just, my last turn, I raised it to 6 and raised it to 7. This turn? No, no. No, turns. so oh, it your was last, last turn. my last turn. So if you would allow me to build this first and then <clears throat> do these two things... Sure. I can do them in the correct order, but I have to... Take one steel back and spend two dollars instead because I didn't have three steel. I only had two when I built okay. this first. Okay, it was just the order, mm. and I spent dollars instead of steel. All right, then I pass. That's the end of the generation. Do the electric slide. Slide your energy <laughs> hey, over into electric slide. Into it's power. It is. It That's power. great. How right? did you ever make that joke? I feel like I've right. actually heard that joke before, and I just remembered. Okay, and then take your production. Um, I want to know how much hideous amount of money Dave's making this turn. Forty-five. Oh wow. my goodness. Why so high? He he raised his thirty-three money plus production with twelve. Like three other oh, wow. cards yeah. this turn. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, and clear your blue cube from your blue cards. Lincoln, you have a green cube on one card okay. to clear. Or I need to reshuffle. There, we need to push these yeah. over toward me. Oh. Put some microbes in there. Okay. I'll do my best. No, you don't want them in there. Oh, you do want no, them in there. No, I do. There, I but you don't to, want them to come out now. Right, I don't want you to deal them out. I, I hope them your them hand of cards is nothing but microbes. I actually have a sad amount in my hand already. That's That hurts a little bit. That's yours. Please hand that to Nikki. Lincoln, those are yours, sir. Ugh. <laughs> Did not get what I wanted. What? I got this crappy card already. <laughs> hey, here we go. Oxygen must be 4% or less. Discard. <laughs> <laughs> I kept no cards. I kept two. I kept two. I kept one and I have not paid for it yet, so I owe three dollars. Oops, that is completely the wrong math. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in a five and take ten. That's Mars math. Okay, I, I start. I'm going to use the water splitting plant <clears throat> to raise the oxygen one level. Yep. Which gets me a temperature bump, so two TRs for red, please. Yep. Nice. And then I will use the ironworks to raise the oxygen again. And I get a steel and, of course, another TR and oxygen bump. And that's my first two actions. <clears throat> And as you can see, we're only on round seven, generation seven, but we're actually getting reasonably close to the end of the game in a semi-habitable Mars. Let's put some insects on this planet. Insects! With a card called Insects. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so that's nine. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Yeah, and I had no discount, right? That's not considered a discount. No, nope. right. Yeah. Just, it's just these it's, two here. Okay, so Steel and nine. titanium. It requires six oxygen. Yep. Uh, increase your plant production one step for each plant tag you have. So I've got two, so I just increased two. Oh, uh, you have three. If you count that card, do you no. count? No, that, that those are micro cards. Have a, oh, I apologize. I flipped like a plant. Two, are, they so are both I'm green. I'm at nine right now. If that had a plant on it, though, that would count, right? The I card you just played. And, and, and they almost always say, including this one. Oh, okay, cool. So they, they're pretty clear. So there's that card. Okay. Yep. And then let's uh, turn in let's some, make some of this greenery. ridiculousness. That seems like something you there's would do. There's eight. And. Has to go next to something you own. So, so why don't I'll you put, put it, it and take a steal? And take a steal. And two dollars. Yeah, yeah. For next to an ocean. Take a steal next and two dollars. Okay. So, here, I'll give you the steal. Two bucks and a two steal. Bucks. Done. Such a steal. It's totally a steal. So I'm gonna spend eight. Boop, that bumps that. And then I'm gonna spend eight to put on some stuff. There you go, sir. What, what did eight what? Eight, I'm sorry, plants. eight plants. So Thank I spent you. eight heat okay. yep. and eight plants to do that, I guess. Yeah, for points. Oh, no, oh, cover it. Get the card. card. Yeah, yeah, totally. That goes up one. This oh, wait. Goes, did, did Nikki, did you just raise it by one? This goes up one. He she did, did not. not. I did not. And then blue gets a terrible. One more. <laughs> and then Lincoln put a green cube on that. Oh, yeah. To indicate that it is yours. Thank you. All right, I'm going to strip wait, mine did, it up. Did he do two? Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah, he I did both those things. I'm going to strip mine what it up. What was the first one? I'm sorry. Heat and Thank then you. plants. Okay. Once again, strip mine. Strip. Cost 25. So there's five, six, seven, eight. So that's 16 of my 25. Uh, 16, 26, take back one. I decrease this by two, <laughs> one, two. My plant, my thing. I increase this production by two, one, two. I increase titanium by one. And I bump up the oxygen two levels. Wow. Which takes me to here. And not surprisingly, for my second action, I'm going to spend eight for the achievement of getting a 35. I need a second cube as well. Oh, sorry. Oh, here. What's this? I'm going to import some hydrogen. Imported hydrogen. Uh, it's a space card, so I'm going to pay 12 of its 16 cost with titanium. And then I'll pay four more for 16. It lets me place three plants or microbes or two animals on another card. So I'll place three microbes on my ants. And I place an ocean, which there are. That bumps you up one here, right? Thank you, it does. And I'll take the two plants from placing it right here. There's no real great places for that. That's an event. You gave me that. Uh, now I will play Lunar Beam, which costs 13. I lose two mega credit production, but I increase my heat and energy production to each. Nice. Uh, six. And done. All right. Yep. All right. Nuclear power's coming. Woot! da da <laughs> It's 10. Huh. I'm going to use... I guess you're not it. an environmentalist anymore. Uh, not so much. <laughs> it's all how you, you know... It's all in the... It's all in the language. It's all in the publicity. So I'm paying for it with all steel. Nice. That's 10. I decrease my money production to... One, two, and I increase my energy production three. Energy. <clears throat> One, two, three. That is my first move. And then um, my second move will be to put a microbe on my GHG production. So that was my second move. Okay, I'm gonna uh, breathe, putting breathing filters. We're at seven, way beyond seven, <clears throat> and that's gonna cost me uh, ten. 
and it uh, just gives me uh, two victory points. That's pretty good. And then I'm gonna import nitrogen, imported nitrogen. So I think I can do it. Let me calculate costs because I don't know if I have enough. Uh, I should. It's minus two because it's a space deal, so that's twenty-one. And minus one for other the other thing. That's twenty, yeah. and then I reduce an additional nine. So you need eleven. Yeah, I can do it. And then that'll be eleven. And what it does is it raises this one for me. It adds four plants and three microbes and two pets. Two nice. pets? Oh, two animals to something. Yeah. That's Are awesome. Are they allowed to go outside yet? Two pets. They're never the going to go outside. One. And I think that They're is indoor it. They're indoor pets. My endless That's pets. That's pretty cool. That was nice. Yeah. It's been from the very beginning of the game. <laughs> oh, really? I've been yeah. building towards. All right, energy savings. <clears throat> <laughs> I've been waiting for you guys to build cities. No one's been <laughs> building cities. They're I'll expensive. I, or if you don't have a card, they're very expensive. I'll spend 15. And what is it? It bumps up my power production for every city on the board. One, two, three, four. So that's four. And then I'll spend six to build the carbonite, carbonate processing. I spend one of these, and it bumps my heat up three. One, two, three. And that is my turn. I'm going to spend eight heat to raise the temperature. It raises the temperature. Mm -hmm. There's only one piece left on that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I only had two more heat. Um, for my second action, search for life. Oh, good luck, player. Let's see. Is that what I want? Yeah. OK. Good luck. Cost me one. Nope. Has no tags whatsoever. <laughs> I might get one more chance at that baby, though. <laughs> I gotta cube that, so it's done. Done for two. Okay. I am going to do a magnetic field generator. That's oh. 20. I'm gonna use two from this. Yep, 18 left. So, these are 10. Why do yep. I keep thinking that? Mm -hmm. They are. Just put them in and she take two. I keep thinking they're 20. I think, oh. I, think oh. I keep thinking they're 20. Oh. So you get um, two back. <clears throat> so that. And then two back. And what does that do? This wonderful thing is going to decrease my energy by four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to up my plant production <laughs> two, which gets me to the ten. Okay. Do I mark that I'm more than ten? No, not until you go up. Put no, right. It's what, put, you can put, put ten, and, ten, ten and zero. Ten and zero. <clears throat> It's not 100, it's 10 zero. Then it's going to up my... Her TR goes TR up by 3. TR goes up by 3. Nice. Yeah. Your TM. I want to call it TM. Hmm? Um, that was all of one call move, it whatever correct? You want, buddy. That was all of one move. That was one? Yeah. That was one move. Um, can I do it? I can't. Boom. Oh, let's turn in some heat. Yeah, I was going to say do it. There's eight. To up the heat. Oh, that's the final heat <clears throat> pump. Give her another TR. Oh, there you go. It changes my turn. <laughs> that's uh -oh. nice. Did you get it to her? I gave her, no, I gave her the heat. But not, not the this. TR. There yeah. you go. Thank you. Done. Two moves. I'm going to sell three. The three space bucks. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting real close on that. And then, well, I'll probably sell a lot next time. Me too. Um, and then I'm going to. Uh, Cash in three to go up one space buck generator TM one TR. What was what did you cash in? Oh, you cashed in your microbe things. Yeah. Put a, put a green cube on that. Oh, yeah. I, yep. So Thank you don't you. use it again. Dave, I'm gonna sell two. I think two. Sell two for two dollars. End of turn. I'm going to spend 14. Yeah, I thought that was coming. To establish an award for miners. Yeah. I thought that was coming. And then I'm going to link in good timing because my ants now have to eat this microbe. I was totally going to take one of your three. 
but uh, now I have to take that one. I Done. Mean, Sorry, Nick. Your Nate. answer. Hey, my answer jerks. You jerks. Sure. That's why I brought them from Earth. <clears throat> and then I just threw the ant farm out there and I was like, go get it. Yeah. Your turn. Yeah. Your turn. Yeah. Pass. Okay. I'm going to sell this card for one. Mm hmm. And I'm going to mining expedition. So I raise the oxygen one step. Hang on. Pay for it first. Okay. It's 11. Yep. You don't have any other discounts, right? Just that one? No. Right. Okay. Not of that. Type. Not of that. 11. Yeah. Nice. Raise that one. That gets you a bump here. And what else? And uh, I get two steel, and I remove two plants from somebody. I guess Dave. Yeah, take it yeah. from me. They're not doing me any good anyway. We're kind of, we're kind of all down there. nikki has got the production. On. I am the plant lady. You are the plant lady. That gets me mad. <clears throat> uh, pass. I will. Sorry for taking two. No problem. I'll sell three cards, and then I will use symbiotic fungus to place another microbe on my ants. Done. On your pants? Mm -hmm. Microbomb my ants. My ants. There, they can be Microbomb my, ants. my I ants. I passed, but can I hop back in? Nope. No. Once you passed, you passed. No. Okay. Unless you did one action and then passed <laughs> last turn. But if you totally passed. I totally passed. Yeah, yeah then you're done. Okay. I almost spent the 14 instead of doing the things that I did. I had two choices. I could do one of my cards and get the $14 award, or I could do the other one. And I thought, I'll just take the chance that... I didn't think won. you had that much. Maybe I looked after you oh, already I, did well, no, your stuff. I did my I I decided to just risk it. But you have a boatload of money and you're so, obviously <clears throat> gonna get this one. But it so, doesn't but it doesn't matter. The point is if I could get there, I might not, right? I, I don't see one. anyway. I think I think big deal. You call you would have cost me six more dollars, which is not that critical to me, or saved yourself six dollars. You never know. It might be totally critical to you next turn. No, you're wrong, Dave. <laughs> Go back to Earth, Dave. <laughs> you don't belong here on Mars with us cool people. I'm gonna sell five cards. Wow. Ooh. Nice. Well, the game's over soon. Guaranteed. <coughs> almost positively, because what yep. else are we gonna do? And then I'm going to um, build windmills. Yeah. You're gonna tilt at them. Yep, and they <laughs> will cost. They'll increase my. It uh, costs me. It's gonna be cheap. Um, it's gonna cost me five. Um, but I'll use this, so it'll cost me one. I'll use my steel, since it's got that on there, and I cost one more additional. And it gives me a victory point, and I increase that, which I did not do. There we go. All right. And um, that is all I can do for now. Back to you. Or did you already pass? Yeah, last turn. I believe I am done and I can't Back to do you? anything else. Um, I'm going to pass. Okay. Slidey slide, electric slide. Electric slide and then produce. Fuck. I wish I could use those four because what are they going to do me now? 47, in case anyone cares. Uh, and 34 for me, not that anybody cares. Ten. I do care a little bit, Dave. That's why I'm saying it. Turn moves it to Nikki. So, meh. Oh, take your blue cube off of it and your link and your green cube off of that card so sure, since thank you, you haven't used it this turn now. Here's the thing, Hank. Can't afford them all, so. Are we good? You're first, Nikki. Okay. How many did you keep? I kept one. I kept zero. I kept one. I kept one. Nikki's up. The only global parameter remaining is oceans. <clears throat> Eleven. And it only costs 18 to just build an ocean if you want. Sure. 
but... Does it bump this at least? It, oh yeah, it does, it does because yes. it's still there. The other things don't, but right. you can still take actions that do this, but you don't really get anything out of it. Right. I don't know about my cards here at the end of the game, so I'm just going to pay 25 yep. for a city, because yep. I have no cards that do that for me anyway, so here's 25 for a city. Okie doke. And yep. I have to place it near my stuff, right? No, you, no, you can to. play it anywhere, but you want to place wanna it. Play it by those greeneries because that's a lot of points. Okay, so here's my blue. <laughs> if I can get it in there. That volcano doesn't want me there. You also get one money production bump. Okay. Yep. Does that. she get a victory point for? Blue? No, she, she does not. For that. Okay. Oh yeah. She will at the end if <laughs> yeah, the city okay, is. So that was yep. one action. That was one. And then you're gonna spend eight to place a, t a greenery. <clears throat> and then. <clears throat> Yeah, next to my city. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So that's a good Do it now thing. before before somebody flicks in and steals all your... I, I don't... Before. I can't steal... I have plants. no microbes for his <coughs> ants to get at, so there's four, uh, eight, eight yep. for the cube, greenery the yeah. nice. next to my city. And that's big. Yeah. Uh, that was two moves. Okay, I'm going to spend 20 and be the science guy. Uh, yeah, I knew that good. was coming. Good. Good? All that does is help you. Why? What? Don't you have science tags? I have like one, but it, yeah. it takes the landlord away from you. That's why it's good. I wasn't gonna take the landlord. I was gonna take the money production. Okay, that either one. Me and either one. There, they were. And and there's the reason that I was thinking about doing that last turn. See, I didn't know that I was <laughs> I, gonna get I anything. You. That's right. okay. And then I'm no, gonna spend... but that's definitely good for me. Not letting you get one of those. That's I'm gonna spend nine <laughs> uh, total because it's. Uh, redu reduced by f uh, four, mm. so it's fourteen minus one for the one thing, and it gives me um, three energy boost. Oh, let me spend the money. It's uh, nine, correct? Yeah. Does Nikki have three science tags? I can't see, or just two? I hope she only has I two because that's two. Doing it. two. Two. And you have three or four? Three now. Nice. One. Oh, you just built one. Smart. One, two, three. And you have none, Dave? I have none. And that uh, gives me three energy boost that I don't need. And I'm done for this turn. Artificial Lake cost me 15. There's the 15. Oh, it's going to be an ocean. It allows me to place an ocean in an area not reserved for an ocean. Ooh. So I'll put it there and take two of Dollars. these while I'm at it. You sure will. And, and two iron. Two steel. That's what I did. Oh, I thought, you're right. I thought you meant money, but that's not the no, way it No, I goes. took two steel. The other way. And I'll, it comes with a victory point. And then, since I'm freed up now from the other thing, <laughs> I will spend uh, 23 for this open city. Hey, everyone has a city. Get some. Look, yeah. I'm giving you extra points. Oh, yeah. What? You get uh, whatever you get. Oh, it's just victory points for you on cities, remember? Okay. What, uh, what are you building? Open city? Yeah. I'll build that there, and I I haven't paid for it yet. I'm gonna lose two of these, one of these. I'm gonna get four of these. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna pick up two plants, and I also place the city. And do, while you take your turn, I will figure out if I'm gonna spend these. How many is this your total right now? Just give me a the total here. Yeah. Six, but nine at the end of the turn. Okay, so technically <laughs> you have fifteen <laughs> virtual ones right now. No, no. That's okay. You'll have, if you spend none of them and don't do other things, you'll have, you're, you're currently at 15. No, I'm at nine. But you produce at the end of the turn, right? Yeah, three. Oh, three, thank you. I'm telling you my total thank at you. the end of the thank turn. Thank you. I'm playing Decomposers. It costs five credits. When you play any animal, plant, or microbe tag, including this, place a microbe on this card. It requires 3% oxygen. And it, once I get three, I get a victory point out of that, which I should be able to do. Um, what is my next move going to be? It's going to be, you know what it's going to be? I do mm -hmm. not. Search for life. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mega credit. Of course This is it. Is. Probably my last chance for three victory points. Give me a microbe tag. I got one. Ah, I got search that's for the life. Worst. It's an extreme that's cold fungus. That's amazing. I love it. You're an it's extreme cold, cold fungus. Fungi. Three points. <laughs> I, that's awesome. <clears throat> that's great. It's the only tag too. All right. That was my second action. 
I believe I'm going to sell four cards to get four space bucks, whatever. Right? Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In order to bum, ba, da, da. Bum, ba, da, da. <clears throat> pay 18 to make a lake marineris. Oh, Ooh. hey, that's two of these, right? That's two, that's yeah. Two. There we go. Beautiful. And that gets that'll get me two points at the end of the game. So, ten. Yeah, and it, did you move her up two on? TR? Not yet. Gets you two points right now too. All yeah. my moolah, and I place the. Place your oceans. You place as normal, right? There's ocean. no weird requirements. Right. No. They it's don't. They don't get to go outside right, well, the ocean. It, it, it get, no, no, no. Ocean it, spaces. Oh, you're right. Dang She's it. gonna get four plants. Is what she's gonna get. It had to be a zero or warmer. Yeah. In the thing. She's going to get four plants and probably four dollars by going here and here. Right. That's yep. the plan. That makes get sense. Get some more plants that I can cash in Yep. for another terrain. And four dollars because each of those was next to one ocean as you placed it. So four bucks. One, two, three, four. Oops. And, and four, plant. four plants. And of course, as we all know, that triggers the end of the game. This is the last generation, so once you pass here, you will be done. Oh, there you go. Makes and all think, my decisions. And I think I'm one dollar short of like the thing I want to do. Sell a card. No, that's including the cards oh. I need to sell. <laughs> I'm gonna do wave power, and it has to have three, which we got plenty of water there. Um, it's gonna cost me seven, and it just gives me a victory point. <clears throat> yep. And on, yeah. So the reason I, I've had this card from the beginning, yeah, it takes titanium, which I had a lot of, and it bumps my heat up seven, and I just kept getting different cards. That's the reason that I chose that heat mm -hmm. one when I chose it. I'm gonna build the Los Casma Casma National Park. Neat. It's sixteen. There's sixteen right there, and I get this thing. I don't know what this thing is for. What is this? Do I place it on the board? Look, flip it over. It's a hex with a ownership oh. spot. And I just place it anywhere? Unless it says that it has to go a certain spot. Nope. What's it called? Los Casma National Park. You sure, and it doesn't have to go in the Casma spaces there? I guess there's lots of Casma, so no. No? Nope. That's what I'm gonna do it anyway, because I get it gets me $4, right? Yeah. There's nothing else to cover. It's all, pl oh. It's all, oh, there's just two. And there's two yeah, down here. All right. Just in case. Just in case you pull some shenanigans on me. I don't think I have enough shenanigans to... It doesn't matter. To, oh, it doesn't matter. No shenanigans. There, I get three plants for that. One, two... <coughs> sorry, one, two, three. And I bump this up two. And I also get a victory point at the end. And for my second action, I will just throw away these cards to do it. For two dollars. that I won't be able to use anyway. Mm. Done. I'm just thinking, I think I have two different ways to get two victory points, so it sort of doesn't matter which one I do. Uh, no, this one's better. Okay, I'm going to play Industrial Microbes for 12. That is a... that has a microbe tag, so I'm going to add a microbe to my Decomposers <laughs> card. And I increase my energy and steel production by one each. Hmm. And uh, I'll just, I guess I'll pass. I might as well see what you guys do for now. Well, Nikki. I'm out of cards. Is there any point to turn these in? You can't. Right. Yeah. Right. And I don't have enough for but another turn. But you will train. on your next turn. You will on your next turn. You'll produce and then have a chance. There's no oh, next really? turn. Okay. Right. You, you will for the last yeah. special fact, final You'll round. do two. You'll get two. Because you're going to get this ten. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Wow. Yeah. That's so awesome. I, I have nothing to do, so I pass. Okay. And yeah. I think I'm going to sell my two cards. Right. For two dollars. Yeah, I'm done. Anyway. I pass. Okay, I play Regolith Eaters mm -hmm. uh, for 13. It's another fungus card, so I get a victory point on Decomposers. Um, <laughs> and it adds a microbe to itself. My second 
action will be to use ants to relocate that microbe over to ants, okay. which bumps up a victory point. And <laughs> that's my two actions. Okay, we all passed. Uh, I don't think I can do anything else good. Let's see. Uh, I can... No, I can move a microbe. I can steal a microbe. Anybody got nothing. one for me? No. no. You keep stealing I my I'm microbes. Done, yeah. I uh, I can I sell these two cards. Didn't actually put any out there for fear that you could do something yeah. like yeah. that. No, I, there's a, no. Why should you? I'm going to steal one every turn if I can. Um, I'll sell these two cards in case I tie break by then you those know. two micro. All right. Incomes. So what happens for the last round? Um, we we and produce initially finish the generation. Electric so do slide. your electric slide and then produce everything as normal according to where you are right now. <clears throat> wow, fifty three. Jeez, 35 for me. I did have a card that would give me a bunch of titanium, but it still wasn't enough to get close to you. Right. Beautiful. I'm gonna beat you by one. No. I have 30. Oh, I thought it was all of it together. <laughs> nope. Nope, you're right, it's just heat. No, you beat me by three. Mm -hmm. I have 27. Also, I can take one and six. Okay. All right, the start player should rotate, correct? For this last round? No. It stays where it is. It, it's not a new turn. That makes sense. Nikki is the star player at the final generation. You may convert plants to greenery tiles, so you should place two new greenery tiles right. because you have more than 16 plants. Okay. They have to go next to things you already own. <coughs> All right. So you're going to be giving me or Dave some <coughs> points by placing them. Oof. Yeah. That's a, that's a tough choice. She, maybe she should just do one, one, of, one each of us. Well, isn't her better move to give like either one to you or one to me, and then just go here and not give another point? I don't. Out? I don't. You can't put anything but knock this city on the oh. spot. Super city. Um. So she should give two to me because you are gonna win. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care. All right. All right. So we're gonna do it that way. So you get. How does well, it you really should do it. How does she even do that? She gives you. Well, does that help he you? Gets or two. Help you no, volcano no. doesn't no. matter. Volcano yeah. is nothing. So here, yeah, and that gets me one of those if it matters. Yep. And it, then no, nope. and then there. there. Well, yeah. Or give it to Aaron. Here. Or give it to no. Oh, no, she I think her one. best bet is and two dollars. And two dollars. <laughs> right. That's probably not going to matter. I agree, but, but she does technically get two dollars. I will give it to her. She also gets two I'm plants, but that's not going to matter. I'm going to put it. I in gave here you the two dollars. Two plants. Here's what I spent. I gave you the money. Link, do you have eight plants? Yep. Oh, okay. Nice. I literally was like <clears throat> not plant guy the whole time. That's never why, got, that's why <clears throat> I took them. I know, and that I never knew it didn't matter. Although I would have gotten one tile if you hadn't done that. I would have eventually gotten to one. Oops, gonna put the wrong thing. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, I have exactly eight. I will go here. Sorry, here. For a plant and four dollars. Oops. Done. Oh, you know what? I should put it on the other side so I get two, even though it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah sure. Because you never know. No, it's not going to matter. You never know. It, it's technically bettering your position. Okay. Look, Mars is looking nice. We got <laughs> five different ocean areas and, and you're all dead. this greenery. Oh, you have plants. I okay. have three plants. So okay. now what? So now we calculate scores. It is obviously your base TR plus points from milestones, points from awards, points on your cards played and your stuff on the board, cities at greenery. So, yeah, we do, should just do one player at a time. We'll start okay. with Nikki, who's in the lead on TR with 37. All right. She uh, didn't get any milestones. Okay. No, don't do those yet. We'll do those at the work at the end. All right. It makes the most sense. Uh, cards. How many cities are on the board? One, Five, two, three. Oh, six. on the board till six. Six. So she gets two victory points for... Immigration shuttles. Two. Neat. For every third. Yep. Yeah. And then the other one? I get two. For the lake that she built? Just two, right? Just straight up two. Okay. Straight up one for Noctis farming. One. 
I think that's yeah, I think it that because I kind of put all those. Trying to keep them at the bottom. Yeah, she was just kind of grouping them there. Smart. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And, and there's then, no points on the events, right? <laughs> the ones we turn over, no. I assume. Uh, I don't think so. Don't just actually, check. there can be. Just check. No, I don't, no. there probably aren't. I don't have any. None. I just didn't know. All right. I, I think there might be. All right. <clears> All right. So uh, and on those. the board, she gets she one has... point for everything on the board, correct? Everything that's already on the board is worth a point? N well, that's not true because your <clears throat> park and your <clears throat> volcano don't count. Okay. She gets five points for her five greenery tiles. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And this city is worth one, two, three, four. Because okay. it touches One, three, two, three, three four. That's that is her score if she's not getting any awards. Okay. Or uh, before awards, she's at fifty-one. And Lincoln. we're okay. gonna be last. Lincoln is at twenty-eight. What does he have? Milestones. He got one. So five. Five points for being the planner. Okay. Cards, sir. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, 10, six, seven, eight, 11, nine. 12, 13 points. 10, 11, 12, 13. Wait, no, no. That was 13 new points, right? No, that's no, just, no. he's adding them. Just, he was just adding them. It yeah. was every two of those is a point. Every two. Yeah, two yeah. That was still an awesome card to play first. Yeah. yeah. No like, that kidding. was really, really good. You got a lot of um, dogs on And there. nothing else, right? Nothing, nothing else until awards. <clears throat> uh, wait, oh, board. We didn't do the board yet. Oh. He's got two greenery for two, and his city is worth three. One, two, three, because it touches two greenery. There you go. Wow. All right. Me or you? Uh, we're going clockwise, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in cards. Uh, one, two for greenery, right? And then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Seven, eight, eight, eight. Wow. That is a nice city there. Um, he also gets something down here. Oh, and five, and five for, for being the terraformer. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's start there for me. I have five for being the builder. I have two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on cards. Nice. And... One, two on the board. Wow, that's amazing how nice and close Tight, that is before yeah. the awards. Okay, so that's everything but these awards. <clears throat> okay, doke. Let's go with uh, Thermatist. We know Dave's going to win that one. Right? <laughs> have, it's just his production. It's just heat. Oh, th heat, sorry. I have 30. I have 27. Yeah. Nikki has about 15. Lincoln has about 19. Yeah, so I get so five, I get you get two. two. Uh, scientist. Science tags? That's me, I have three. I think, yeah, I don't think I only have two. I think Aaron has, well, Aaron has put, put, tied. put down another wait, one. Aaron, wait, let put me down a second check. one. Let me double check my... But you have... Yeah, you I have put the, down a second one. But you scored the five, right, Lincoln? Yeah. Yes. And then you and Nikki each get the two? We each yeah. get the two. Friendly ties? Yep. Okie doke. Okay, so these are my face-down cards, and there's a science in there. Does that those, count? Those do not count for okay. this award. They count so for don't. when you play the card. All right. So, so the see. tags on them are oh, for discounts and for stuff. For events. Yeah. Yes. That makes sense. So, so only have two. So we did tie for the two. I scored Second it. place. All right. And then uh, Miner was the last one. Yep. Which is just how much titanium and steel you have. 16. Uh, 10. Uh, I only have yeah. six. So five more for Dave and two more for me. Dave, 69. Tee hee. 58, 56, 53. I'm, I'm impressed with the tightness of the scores other than Dave, who clearly got a jump on the award categories that ran away with it. All right, Lincoln, what'd you think of Terraforming Mars? I, I really like this game. I think it's really neat. Uh, it's a little long. Um, I do wish there was a way to like just shorten it down a little bit, but I really, really like it. I mean, obviously, as you get... You play it more, you get better, but I don't want to play it that much yeah. to where I become spectacular at it. But I really like all of the... Um, synergy that is created with the cards, you know, it's neat. It, it, there is a lot of luck of the draw. I barely had, you know, I was behind you guys quite a bit for the... Uh, mm -hmm. On the TR track. But you TR certainly track. made it up in other ways. Sort of, yeah. Well, no, that was all because of rewards and stuff like that. I mean, I didn't want Dave to get that last one that would give him five. Yeah, I yeah. mean, not that it made any difference, but... Uh, no, it did. I mean, well, it, I mean, as far as the score, it didn't, but you're right. right. But it, 
It makes sense. Yeah. You wanted, and you wanted to get something for yourself as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there was no way I was going to be involved. I never had, this was about the extent of it, my thermal production cards. Um, it, it's weird. That's the only rough thing is that there's not much you can do um, if to you're, counter those things unless you ha uh, you somehow draw those cards, right? Right. What do you think, Nick? Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, it was the second time we played, so uh, I enjoyed it more than the first time. I don't remember, did we start with the open... Um, the basic the, companies? The basic companies in I that think we first had game? To or did we start with... Did I'm we pretty just sure that's the way we way started. In. You know, okay. They were trying to make it easy for us, because it, mm. it was a lot of noobs, for sure. You know? And it's been, <clears> we played it at BDG Spring. And with, I think I mentioned it in our discussion video. We played it with, you know, two of the jurors and one of the mm -hmm. jurors teaching us. So uh, it was interesting. It, that was in that game. I got a little dinged with the uh, hard to build cards, but Nikki did pretty good on that one. Anything else you want to say? Um, I like the research mechanic of the getting the four cards and working things up. I think, or I held on to some cards longer mm -hmm. than I should have. Mm -hmm. There were some hard to get cards that I thought, okay, I'm gonna aim for this. And then it just went, and I had them in my hand like the last round. I'm like, why, why am I still holding on to these? I'm never going to be able to afford them. They don't make a difference now because they were ones that benefit you better if you got them down early on. Early, yeah. early there on. weren't victory points or whatever. Um, no, they didn't have victory points on them. Well, that was like, that so, was a good move for you there <clears> that converted your money right. to victory right. points, oh, yeah. right? That, right. Was, that was really helpful. I was surprised in this game that there wasn't so much building going on. The board looks fuller now, but it stayed pretty. Well, this yeah. stuff having to do all those. Pretty empty. And then the final phase of placing some placing green. green. That yeah. was four more green mm. tiles, yeah. too. I th In my <clears throat> one other game also, I think the board is about like this. Like, you mm. get it about half full. It's never right. going to, like, completely fill up. Right. Well, there's so many expansions coming. But right. Yeah, you're right. It could change everything. On the planet it just stayed very empty. Yeah, yeah like it really last. did. Well, believe me, I was really hoping, for the, uh, yeah. hoping for cities. And we got a few on there. I think six yeah. is a lot, actually. Considering that you got the 16-card milestone, that's pretty unlucky if you have 16 cards and nothing in your hand that would, like, would help you build cities better. Right. Well, I had none. I, I didn't... The, I, did I build... I built one city, which was a outpost, research yes, outpost. Right. Was that is it. I never got any of those. Um, it was odd. I didn't... Well, me too. I mean, I just don't... There aren't that many city cards in the right. game. I think if you're... Yeah, you're gonna go with city be. strategy. Well, you just again, have to get a lot of money. We're playing with them. the reduced cards. I don't know. If yeah, I don't know what else is in that. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. The um, you know, a drawback to me always in a game is we were all so into reading our cards and understanding our cards that there wasn't too much interaction interaction going on. So that was a little sad. But it, I, if you know <laughs> that going in, and there are games that are just like that, and I would definitely. To me, this is a game I'd play at a con, where I'd be like, I'm just dedicating, you know, right. three hours, three to four it. hours to it, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. It's definitely, to me, it's one of the heavier games that that's up for the SDJ. Oh yeah, uh, Kenner's Field, but, it, but it's still very it's heavy. It's quite heavier than the other two um, that yeah. are, are nominated. Absolutely. I, it's like, here's the. And I like the other two, but here's the two, and then boom. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I mean, yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised it was nominated. <clears throat> just, I mean, it's a great game, but I'm just surprised because it seems to maybe because it is actually pretty simple um, that it got in. You know what I mean? Because it's just a slightly advanced thing. They're like, yeah, we're not heavy, we don't do heavy games. That's not our, our awards. Yeah. This one seems a little heavier, but it really kind of isn't. It's just heavy in time, I think. It's just hard to explain the first time. It, yeah. this, is, this is the kind of game that I did not think I was going to like because this is the kind of stuff that is not what I look for in a game. And it's, it's kind of cool, actually. And um, it doesn't surprise me in a way that it got nominated. Because what you're saying is true. I mean, it takes a long time to explain this game, right? We tend, on the show especially, we tend to over-explain and show a bunch well, of stuff. Well, we want people to be able to watch the oh, video no. and know how to play totally. the game. Totally. But even barring that... Not I mean, just get them started. It, yeah. Yeah. With new players, it, it could take at least 15 or 20 minutes just to explain this game. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a long time. And 
and to sort of figure out, but you're right, once you get one or two turns into the game, the mechanics of this are really simple. And, uh, and the way the stuff, um, it, all, it all is sort of simple once, once, once you, you know how it works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But there's, but getting new cards every turn sort of always throws a wrinkle and like maybe mm. extra rules, extra kind of things into right. your plans. Well, I mean, even or it changes your plans. Yeah. Yes. That's what happened to me. The only reason I ended up building cities was, you're right, I stumbled into like this city card Regardless of what I'm giving you guys, I'm getting I'm getting four points out of it, right? I'm going to get a point for the city, and three points yeah, for the card. That's right. And even though it cost me, I think this is the one I spent a bunch um, of my titanium um. on. But even though it's a big cost, whatever I give you, right? It still gives me four points. Yeah. And I'm only giving you maybe like a half a point or a point, and Aaron maybe a half a point or a point. What were you saying, Lincoln? No, that was right. I mean, that was what I was talking about. It's uh, it's definitely. Uh, a bigger game. Uh, Aaron was going to say something there. Oh, I am. Um, I mean, I enjoy this a lot too. Um, I always I like a game with a deck of cards that you're definitely going to take a long time to discover it all and, and figure out what's in there. You know, and even like we mentioned, expansions are coming. That makes me excited to play and learn new things and have new avenues of strategy for this game. Right. Even though I do think there is a pretty strong look of the draw. You definitely can get bad cards or cards that just don't they were, combo. They were bad. Unless you just nothing that was really but super. Unless pressed. you play the draft, which I just I, I say I say out loud right now that I don't want to do. But who knows? Maybe if I tried it once. But it just seems when you do the draft, does everybody just get four cards? You take one, you pass three. Yes. And then three cards, you take yes. one, you pass one. Oh wow! Well, and then, so and every then you do the, the same. First, you draft the first. 10 then you do the same. Thing. And you draft purchase. the first ten as well, right? No, you just get your first ten, or if your corporation gets more or less cards, you still just get a Oh, because some corporations starting. don't have the same you, number of starting cards? You, that's well, that's correct. good. You yeah. only draft in the I research phase I thought you had to draft the first four. ten. No. no. But that oh, would be man. taking a long take time, yeah. But we would have done eight mini draft and passes, and then decided what to buy of those four. Oh, yeah. so even when you draft four, then you can, you can throw all four away, essentially, yep. and spend nothing at that point. But you can keep that one and just go, oh, Dave <laughs> needs this titanium production, so I'm not passing that to him, or, you know. Right. Or see what Nikki's not interested in. That would be more. Interesting. There's definitely that, some that might mitigate a little bit of the, yeah. the the luck with the draw. And well, it would also give you seven at the very beginning. You at least see seven cards, right? You're four plus whatever three. Say Nikki passed you. Yeah. You might yeah. find something you really need. Yeah. And uh, we we harp on this a little bit in our uh, Kenner Spiel and Spiel Yard the Yard discussion video, but. These acrylic frames are awesome. Mm -hmm. The paper mats that come with this game are not awesome. And you absolutely have to be really careful. And you could hit your mat and scatter your production and have no idea how to recover your right. game. That, right. That's a pretty big loss for a, a production Just problem. because we're clumsy. Okay, yeah, I'm but sure I mean, some people are good about it. But <laughs> who's never played a game that's been bumped or the table? Well, not like that. Even not even bump bump, but even like you're using the same cubes and to you're, and track of stuff. And you're picking up. Like, and what if one of these just moved over yeah. there and I didn't see it even it's happen? Certainly, mm -hmm. you have to be ultra careful without having an add-on, which is a little unfortunate from a production point. But it, you know. I do have a question. It doesn't. It's not a deal breaker. Yes. What's a question? What I noticed. Is this thing here? Ooh, well, what's yeah, that it, for? It's just for storage. It's for storage of those player cubes here. Really? But yeah. we decided That's it was it too is? complicated. Like, we, we, you don't want it that to be bumped either, right? Visually. What if? What if you? Now where's it go? I know. <laughs> but we decided it was actually simpler okay. to just keep them off screen. I thought it had a temperature Wait, thing no. going on. That's for the the acrylic thing we added. That's yes. not in the real no, it's game. Not they don't the suggest game. you put no, it in your no, no, paper. No, no, that no. is just okay. a cut out in our lower <laughs> room. That, 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 was, that was just invite trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be, it'd be uh, yeah, ten this times is, worse. It's exciting how successful this is. I mean, I, it really is. I'm really yeah. happy for happy for Stronghold Games because this is just huge, and I can see why the appeal. You know, right? It's again, I'm not a play a game a bunch of times unless it's some sort of campaign thing. Um, I, I don't feel I need to optimize. I can see where knowledge and optimizing how your plays go. Right. And and you know power playing. I mean I'm sure Stephanie who's oh my god a bunch. You they know those those hour. guys are probably memorized the card game yeah. by now. Oh sure. And know what's in there. Yeah. Like that's one of the reasons I stopped playing 
race for the galaxy with those guys. Is because they're they, powerful. With oh them. yeah. They know the entire deck, so they know what they're looking. When they for. have a card, they're like, oh, you know what? These other three cards will work with this. Maybe yeah. I'll draw. Oh no, that one already came out, so I won't get that. Like th that helps them with the frequency. We didn't play with the hundred of those advanced whatever cards. Right. Corporation. That, that would be good though. And if we played them, we these, might correct. It's more. Yeah, of these. we might not yes. reshuffle. It'd be nice not to run into the junky cards once we. But cycle it is, through. you know, it, like I said, it's not cards that establish stuff here. It just, it sort of lengthens the game because it's just like big contract. Screw with your things. neighbor kind of cards right. and and <clears throat> change your production I don't think I've and seen make any money. of those in the two times we've played. You probably didn't. I play can't with remember them. if I played with them. I or know not. we didn't because I had one one card in my hand from the the entire game until like near the end. I was going to play it, and they're like, "Oh, you can't play that." So I had that card in my hand the whole time. No, right. Nothing this that was bad. Well, before. I see that yeah, this no, one was one I gave up. The fusion power. Yeah. Yeah, but look what it did for me. Because I did not have the power. Sure I, had I didn't have the power engine going, so. Yeah. It was junk to me, power. but it wasn't junk to you. Yeah. Well, later it was one of the ones I drew at the end. I had this one early. I think this was like my second or third draft of cards <clears> or something like that, or you know, a research phase. And I, w I wanted it real bad, mm -hmm. but you know, I needed to get to seven, but Aaron was pushing that up pretty quickly, and then it got there, and then I was like, it took a little while for me to do it, but you know, it's two victory it's, points. It was two very game. cheap points, yeah. Yeah. And, you, and you had a discount, right? Yeah, it was <clears throat> well, to ten, right? Still, that's, yeah. I think that's great. I mean, that was great getting that out early, too, correct? Um, I, I, yeah, I, I That I was a very that nice card early. early. I wish this would have come out a little bit earlier, because I did do a lot of uh, cards that had that, I believe. Well, not a lot, but what the the, the space so, thing. Is, so titanium is the space. Yeah, that's symbol. a good discount. I was just looking to see, like, it's potential that some of these aren't necessarily junky. A lot of the ones that we threw Agreed. away at the beginning of a game. But I was looking. You know, you're right. For the most part, they don't these, have victory points. They're most no, of the things, a lot of them do have victory points, but because they have other stuff that you wouldn't want early right. on, or well, that's why I tossed many of those. Yeah, this because one I couldn't I build them, to. or they were yeah. they weren't gonna. This wasn't gonna help me. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, do I need to even bother with that right now? Yeah. Because once we reached that, I knew it was, if somebody else didn't do it, I was going to do it because I had the, uh, when Aaron only did one, I'm like, well, Nikki has to do it. This this one I held on to from the very beginning of the game, and I really... Didn't ever get to build it? Wanted to. Convoy. Well, because it's, it's, it's really it's expensive 36, unless you use but titanium. But it's super good. Yeah, it's an what ocean, two cards, and five plants or four animals, four animals. on an animal and card. Two and two victory points, points, points at the end of the game. I think in my first game I had this and held it. Like, I played yeah. it in, like, turn round eight, <clears> but I held it for the whole game. Yeah. Because it's really expensive. I yeah. mean, I, I sort of like the power fluctuation on these cards. There's cards that cost one or two, and there's cards that you're going to have to wait many, many turns yeah. just to be able to afford to well, play. Well, I was afraid of this card, which was only bump you down two on the energy, but I was, it was so... I had it from the beginning, and I was just like, well, maybe I'll get to the energy, went, and of course yeah, I'm doing fine. It took you from two to zero, but, but you were at zero for a while after that. Y yes. Yeah, so the amount of these cards is really crazy when you think about... Oh, they had to come up with all. I know. I don't. I don't know that they could possibly really play test all that stuff. One thing that that bums me out is is the text size, on these, um, the description of what the card does. Oh, that's text. It's so <laughs> yeah. Right? That was just blurry. <laughs> it's, and black and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty teeny. It, 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 there is a lot of information on some of these cards, but yeah, the text is very small. I'm trying to find like one with the tongue. Well, that well, one. Well, look I at this one. It's got yeah, text it's, up here and yeah, down there, yeah. plus flavor text I mean, at the bottom. To, they need Sometimes. to give you that information. And, they do. and the fact that, like Dave mentioned, uh, like you mentioned, I think, is that, that it was English, clearly explains what's going on in the cards. If I read that half the time when I had questions about it, it would have sure made it, it, life easier. It's, it's there. a lot of info, <laughs> so it's clear, but yeah, it's very, very small. The other thing that's slightly jarring is some of these uh, images on the cards are great. Yeah. And then you get like this one that looks like it was just like taken from the internet or something. Um, so it's kind of uh, it's, a it's just a this. lot of art for a game. You know, it I mean, is a lot of art. these guys produced. The, I think I don't know <clears throat> what the co-production situation on this one was, but they did. It's a small company yeah. that's just a family, and they did all this work. It's it's actually right. amazing in that regard. Well, thanks for teaching us, Aaron. Thanks for coming with me to Terraform Mars. Okay. <laughs>